Possibly. Who really knows? Yeah, yeah. Buttons are hit. I think everything's working. Going to try opening Daggerfall now before we get started. See if it works. Well, it works on my end, but I need to change the audio device out. That should do it. Audio device fixed. And uh, that should basically fix it up here. Okay. So, yeah. Ha, 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 right. The so games have been $60 for 15 years. Well, I mean, here's the real issue, is the market will bear a higher price. It'll, it'll bear 80 or 100 if uh, people are tricked into paying more for their uh, special editions if they see added value in it. But in reality, games should be anywhere between 20 and uh, $100, depending on what's been put into the product. Unfortunately, uh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yes. It's shopping time. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to show you something. So uh, let's see here. Uh, hello, hello. Let's uh, get a couple things in order before I uh, head on in. But uh, yes, yes, we're, we're definitely going to be doing uh, shenanigans today. Um, most likely a bit of dungeon crawling. Um, I also noticed that I'm missing... Uh, I've got a bottle here, but I don't have a cup for it. Uh, not one that I'd use here. Let me see, y'all. Uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Back up. There we go. That was done gone for. It says Red Lantern has been altered. It has. It really has. I, I updated the version. Now, what were you saying? Ah, uh, yes. Um, e Everything's mostly been updated. Uh, ahem. Give me a second here before we do anything else. Uh, do, 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 do. So, people... Um, I, I was saying earlier that my mouse pad was unfortunately dead. I'm currently using this, like, little water droplet mouse pad. I'm going to be fixing uh, some stuff there. You said people hate on uh, Starfield but love Daggerfall. No, they don't. Most people, most people who hate Starfield, the majority of people who've been vocal about Starfield have been criticizing it for the exact same things. Um... And they would, they'd look at uh, like one of my Daggerfall videos and they go, boring. Because most people haven't played Daggerfall. M m like, it it's, it's an extreme minority. Now, the difference, the real difference between Starfield and Daggerfall is that Daggerfall is procedurally generated dungeons. It's put together in blocks so that thing, you know, the experiences can be slightly different going into an area multiple times, especially with different, you know, monster spawns. Let's be honest here. Uh, when you, you've been to one cryolab, you've been to every cryolab in Starfield. So, no, I, 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 I suspect you are extremely wrong. Um, mo most people have not played Star... Uh, what do you call it? Daggerfall. At all. Just not even a bit. Yeah, Smitty says, who has played Daggerfall? Exactly. Exactly. Vast majority of critics have not touched the game. Oh, uh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, yeah. Uh, give me just a second before we go. I have a couple issues. First and foremost, um, I need a cup. Yes. Dagger Falls dungeons make no sense. Uh, the dungeon Diablo is better in randomness? Yes. But... You know, let's be honest here. Daggerfall is a series of compromises made by the technology of its time, weighed by its ambitions, which were too much for that technology. It's um, it's fun, but yes, it, you you ran into problems with exits being unreachable. Exits aren't unreachable, but quest objectives are. At least in the vanilla game, like there there were bugs. Give me a sec. I gotta go grab something.
that's being chased by an orange cat. It happened. Okay. So, as I was saying, I was just uh, grabbing some stuff real quick. Uh, let me see here. Daggerfall was horrible before Unity because of the broken dungeon generation. Correct. Uh, you can actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this for fun, real quick. I I know where my save file is, right? So let's go back to an earlier save file. Let's go to this dungeon here. Okay, we're loading into this old dungeon. This is an older save, so this is not current gameplay. Okay, I'm gonna TCL something you couldn't do in the original game. Now I'm gonna fly around here and I'm gonna show you this. See this dungeon block that has procedurally generated out there? Um, my goodness let me see here do, 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 do. um yeah so this is an example of a dungeon block that is just kind of generated out in the middle of nowhere not connected to anything else and these exist all over the game space some of them exist because they are like they, they activate uh triggers things like that you know they uh, they're in response to some kind of uh, part in the dungeon design. But sometimes, in the vanilla game, a quest item will get put here. How do you get to that? The answer is you don't. Um, in the vanilla game. Anyway. Disable no clip. Return to where we were. Yes. Just showing it off. Okay. So, as I was saying... Um, yeah, our stats are good because we, we made some pretty good rolls, but we also, um, sacrificed speed for, uh, intelligence. We specifically did that. My goodness. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, uh, it's interesting. But, but the, yeah, the vanilla Daggerfall is not great. Hmm. All right. You said Deus Ex is free on Epic. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, people have this weird kind of delusion where they think that more than one Deus Ex game was made. It's, it's crazy. It's kind of like the people who think they made more than uh, the Mortal Kombat trilogy. Um. In fact, there was only one um, Deus Ex game. Uh, they they refer to the second one as Invisible War because it never actually came out. And nobody's really seen it. Alright. Anyway. I stopped claiming games on Epic because... I started, like, I realized I'd claimed about 15, 20 games on Epic. And I hadn't played a single one of them. In over a year. And I realized, like, I was only logging in specifically um, to uh, claim games. And never, ever playing them. And I realized I didn't want to launch Epic to play these games. That was it. Alright, uh, let's see here. Uh, you said bait? No. Alternate reality. I live in a different world from the rest of you, and that's fine. If you, if you want to uh, be able to communicate with me effectively, you have to enter the same space I'm in. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Daggerfall with an emulator? Yes. Uh, well, actually, you can get like Daggerfall on DOSBox on your cell phone pretty well. But then you have to pit, put up with all, and I mean all, of the problems of the DOS version. Yep. Du, 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 du. You have 170 free games on Epic, so no complaints. Yeah, I, again, like, I, I was claiming them for a full year before I realized that... I, I just stopped because I realized I'm never going to play any of these. As opposed to my Steam library. <laughs> In which, you know, I have Steam open all the time, but... Um, uh, let's let's be honest here. I like seeing the number go up and never playing them. May, maybe not, maybe not one of the best uh, solutions. You know, we go over to the Steam library here, 
and and we look at the games specifically here and and, and you look at that and you, you go oh hmm i i've uh yeah there, there's a, there's a bit of a problem here just just a little little bit of a problem okay yeah um let me see here do, 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 do. um i will say that i've played quite a bit of um uh what is it called uh hell divers 2 last night couldn't sleep so instead i just played hell divers 2 and uh the people who are yapping about it being satire um they're just wastes of um of uh, human life like it's called super earth uh, who, who what, what what the fuck like uh, who needs to know like the, anyone who needs to know that this is um um what do you call it that this is satire uh, are the type of people who need to be told do not eat the um do not eat the um the dehydration packets from uh y y you know like uh, the, the little silicate packets say do not eat uh it, like it, 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 <laughs> they're made for uh i holy shit I, just, I, 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 can't, I can't even i'm sorry i'm i'm uh completely i'm completely gone here just uh anyway anyway uh let's see here i need to figure out where we're going we we've already been to the ruins of the castle gearton uh yeah let me see here <laughs> they they come with beef jerky and you're not you're, you're supposed uh, like uh, people uh yeah uh, I, I i don't know i don't know just just it's it's freaking nuts okay uh let's take a moment and uh figure out where we're going next we're going to castle king house next uh, by way of uh, the south, yes. I uh, I got horribly distracted, ended up in a weird uh, location, which is fine. Our quest is complete, and that's the most important part. So, um, we are at present. We don't have any quests at the moment. We are going to go investigate a different, um, what do you call Oh, there was a, an orc corpse on the ground that we passed by. That's funny. Um... But no, our, our goal here is going to be... Oh, there's the Devil's Wolf. Devil's Wolf Tavern. Yeah, the best... One of the best changes we made is that uh, you can see that the uh, inn towns have the, the inn's name in them. Yes. Uh, how many hours does it take? I don't know, like 20... If, if, you, if you go... If you know what you're doing and you're going from beginning to end, it should take you about like 20 hours. Uh, a speedrunner can do it in like 20 minutes, but, um, like, someone who knows what they're doing, or following a guide, um, and is generally lucky, yeah, it shouldn't take you more than 20 hours to just mainline the main quest. I, however, am, uh, playing a modified version of the game, keep that in mind. So, uh, let's see here. Do -do -do -do. But yeah, there there are some uh, very very special people. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just see here. No idea. So, uh, sorry, Darcy, I'm married. Uh, you can't. Uh, you, you, you it, it wouldn't work out between us. I'm I'm gonna time you out for five minutes. All right, uh, let's see here. Where are we going? We are going to go over to... Uh, wait, yeah, the, the wagon wheels uh, busted there. Um, we're going to go ahead and use... Um, do, do, do. We, we need to see about food. Do we have any of that? The answer is no. Our wagon is pretty full up. Our inventory is pretty full up, too. Um, we're just gonna have to, like, get to the next town and, uh, stay alive there. Ugh. My goodness. 
Mm. Right. Now then, we're going to go up in this direction here. The odd jewelers. Yeah, we just got to keep exploring. We're looking for... Oh, there's a trading post. Cool. I'm going to move on. Sometimes the best thing you can do for people as a service to them is to time them out or ban them so that they can go and live their lives in a more productive way. It, it's actually doing them a service. Seriously. We're buying bandages here. Um, as I was saying, we're, uh, we're going, uh, yes, buying more bandages. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yes, exactly. Right, right. I was shoveling snow. It was great. Okay. So... We got about, uh, uh... Three feet of snow. It was great. Okay, I don't think we need anything here. I'm gonna go to the inn. And go have something to eat. At the Batten Pit. I like how this, uh... The wagon's clipping through. Yes. You have to shovel mud tomorrow? Well, eventually, uh, some of that snow is gonna turn to mud, but... Yeah. Or, uh, I, I just made sure that the car was clear. Hello, Lael. We need, uh, food. We need some grilled hair. We're invigorated by the meal. What time is it? It's uh, not too far in the day. We're gonna have some spruce tea. That'll, uh, refresh us slightly. Next, we have to figure out where we're going next. Uh, hmm... <laughs> Can you pet the animals? Yes. Actually. Not the horse. Th this this horse in particular can only be uh, ridden. Uh, this is my trusty steed. Uh, win R.A.R. Yes. Uh, but... We are going to be heading over this way. Uh, yeah. Let's try petting this horse. See if it works. There you go. You pet the horse. There you go. Mm -hmm. I moved over to 7-Zip a long time ago. And now I don't even use Windows, so... It, it, it is what it is. Um, my goodness. Yeah, I'm using... Uh, uh, yeah, I would call it... I'm using uh, KD Neon's Arc to uh, unzip stuff these days. It's true. Okay. When RAR still exists, and to my knowledge, you can still buy a key there. Yes, that's Alucard. Absolutely. Uh, think we have an Alucard meme we can hit if I go over to my uh, useful folder. Hold on, it'll be there. Stream names, stream names. Okay, this one. I'm interested in this. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, um, uh, stop where you are. Your gold, give it to me now. <laughs> Uh, just, just die. They're like, give me your gold now. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. We are good to go. Mm -hmm. Damn, I got blinded again. That's unfortunate.
You see much of nothing, it says. That's unfortunate. Still, uh, yeah, the thieves like to blind me. We gotta steal staff off of them. There's blood everywhere. I tried my best. It's called, um... Uh, yeah, I can't say I'm a gigantic fan of, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, we, we've arrived in Horde, uh, yeah, Hordage. Oh, boy. We're gonna harvest these plants and hopefully not get caught. That's our goal. Our harvest skill will go up doing this. No, nobody has to know. Fireballs in a blind panic? Yes, it's incredible that my horse didn't die. Friendly fire is quite terrifying. All right. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I was gonna say that, uh... Yeah, Alucard was depicted fairly consistently in the, um... in the show, but, um... Sypha kind of got changed. You sentenced this village to famine? Eh, I don't think so. I would like to see my harvest skill go up, though. That is a uh, order of the hour. That's an Akatosh temple. Do I need anything at the Akatosh temple? The answer is no. We are, however, going to go check out the local stores on our way over. Our goal right now is to get ourselves over to the Castle King House. And we're going to do that by way of a few uh, small locations. This Oh, check, check this out. Sheep. That's right. Next. Uh, what do we got? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, so the, the woodworking stores are super interesting. They don't exist. That is to say, like, you look over here. These are actually Thieves Guild members. Uh, you talk to the crow. Me help you? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> you get no response. Yeah, so uh, they, they don't. They, like, they're supposed to sell furniture, but there's no furniture to buy in this game. It just happens that in some locations, there are, um, you know, uh, woodworking stores. Uh, by the way, occasionally you'll find a castle. That castle has clothing. Always want to grab clothing from the clothing store. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Nothing major we have to worry about. I'm going to grab one of these green ones. That's pretty cool. Hadn't seen that color there. Buying it. Mm-hmm. That'll do it. Okay. So, we'll go over there. No, the um, the actual, like, woodworking stores, those uh, are vanilla. And uh, they're rare. And they're unused content for the most part. Like, the crow is a, uh, like, an informant in the Thieves' Guild. Hello, sir. I'd like to sell you all the junk I happen to have accumulated, which is a lot. I want to see how much he'll pay for it. Probably not a whole lot. He'll, he'll like, the most I can give you is 4,000 gold. All right. No idea what was causing all the crashes. But I can tell you that uh, most of the crashes were being caused by the, um, whatchamacallit mod. Um, my goodness. Uh-huh. Sorry. Um, sorry. Moving along, moving along. Mm-hmm. Good say. I'm I'm reading something on Discord. Hold on. Um.
That should do it. Now. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Hmm. The cost is going down. Oh, oh shit. Okay. I was giving it back to him because I was being stupid. I'm good at that. I'm very good at that. These are all the items we pulled out of the dungeon. We're going to keep these orcish boots for now as backups. Uh, but everything else should be fine. Hold on. Let's see. Orcish right, Spoldra, Dwarven left. So Dwar Dwarven there, yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen a little bit of Common Rider. Not a, not a whole lot. Mostly clips and memes. I think the only uh, legitimate Super Sentai show I ever watched all the way through was Zoo Ranger. Just because I wanted to see how the season one of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh like stacked up in the japanese version uh let me let me just say that the uh the japanese version is way better holy crap okay there, there's it's still all cheesy schlock i mean there's no getting around that yes Do -do -do -do. keep on going yep yep um so, the Dwemer uh, isn't a concept that was created yet. These are dwarves, as in, like, they're not seen. They're, they're just known about as um, good old-fashioned fantasy races. Yes. Uh, they, they were... Uh, that's why there's talk of beards and such. They had to do some wiggling to do to make the Dwemer a thing. Let me see here. Oh wow, no. Uh, we're we're canceling that out, and we're gonna go. We're gonna. I see his limitation there. I understand it. Everyone should watch a cartoon called Guru Guru. Has nothing to do with anything else we said. Uh, okay, it looks like we're gonna get this sold after all. Yeah. Little, oh, hold on. Yeah, it's fine. Damn right. Yes, orcs weren't elves either. They were related to pigs. Like, pi pig men. Goblins, specifically. Yeah. Goblins. I haven't, uh, I saw Demon Slayer Season 1, and I've seen nothing else. I've seen absolutely nothing else in the Demon Slayer uh, Spice. I, I kind of zoned out of the show when they introduced uh, the, the main character's, like, father's special technique, the flame-breathing thing, and I thought, wow, this is a great plot hook. I wonder what kind of revelations this will lead to. And it's like, the answer is nothing. We're going back to status quo. And so I'm like, I'm out of this fucking show. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go down here. No, King of the Hill's the best anime. For those who don't know, anime just stands for animation. Uh, like, any any animation um, is, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, any animation is probably, what do you want, he said. Crap. Hey, good day. I'm going to try to grab these and run. Yep. We're out of here. Cory in the house is not animated. Sorry. Not even a bit. King of the Hill is anime, though. Ren and Stimpy is anime, yes. The people who go, Oh, you see? 
anime is only Japanese cartoons, you see, because Japanese have a have a, a more superior culture, and they they make shows for adults, you see. They aren't just cartoons for children. When they're talking about something aimed at 14-year-olds. Yes. They're, they're, they're literally... Uh, they're literally uh, aimed at 14-year-olds. And uh, people are like, But it has sex and violence. And yeah, it's aimed at Japanese 14-year-olds. That, that, that says something, doesn't it? Yeah. Congratulations. You might find something aimed for 16-year-olds. Six, Yeah. Now, overwhelmingly, ja most Japanese cartoons are aimed at, 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 at best, young adults. She does winky face, see? There you go. Uh, more bandages. Those are a good way to heal. I happen to like quite a few Japanese cartoons, but, um... You know, there's a swimsuit. Get away from that. Run away. Run away fast. Okay, Lord's Market there. Cartoons being aimed at children. I know, right? But then people look at their Japanese comic books, you know. Uh, the, they actually use the word for magazine, you know, manga. Um, and, and treat it like it's uh, a higher art form as well. I mean, the, the, the Japanese comics are pretty good, I guess. Usually better than their animations, depending on the show. Though, uh, people's perception of light novels are really skewed. It, 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 that, those are just novellas for uh, young adults. Like, if you ever seen the young adult section in a... Um, um, what do you call it? Um... They, they, sorry, the young adult section, like a, uh, what is it called? B Barnes and Noble, um, store. That's, um, like, that's, that's basically, uh, most light novels. They're, they're, they're just novellas and not great ones. Don't get me wrong. There are tons that I enjoy. I, I really do. I'm just saying, like, the overwhelming majority of what people make is kind of bad. And then occasionally you find these little diamonds, you know, really good, uh, really good things. And, and then, uh, and then you realize, and then you realize you can't recommend it to anyone because it has a, um, what do you call it? A 3,000-year-old uh, vampire that is described as a... I'm I'm using big air quotes here. Sexy little girl. At which point you can't recommend it to anyone ever. And uh yeah now. Yeah, you just kinda go, oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, exactly. It's uh oof. Uh let me let me pull up my uh my chart for this. I, I, I got, I got a, a chart for this. Yes. There's a reason I had to use air quotes there, because saying something like that with a straight face, um, not good. Not good. Yeah. It, it's, it's exactly Monopoly memes. My, Monopoly is my, uh, my favorite, you know, uh, for, for that particular meme. Uh, there it is. I, f I found it. This is this is the uh, Monopoly meme that uh, we like to use there. Lol. There you go. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Point is that there's there's tons of those shows where I'll be like, oh my god, this is a really cool premise. And there's the, uh, there's the 3,000-year-old vampire.
Du, 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 du. Do not appreciate. Do not appreciate. Not even a bit. So, yeah, it becomes very difficult to recommend some of those things. Let me see here. Uh, oh, God. What was that name? Um, oh, was it Sailor Moon? Where they made the, the, um, the lesbians into cousins? I, I think I think that yeah yeah and when when adaptations attempting to sanitize things go horribly wrong because they didn't exactly cut all the moments so you, you said that can't be true no no they they did they did um let me see here do, 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 do. yeah hold on um. What about oh, these? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, and what, what about these? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for it now. Hold on. Uh, d d d d okay, okay. Yeah, d them. They they made them cousins. They uh, they they they, they did that. They uh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 those two characters. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, d d d d d yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it it, it, it was those those two. They they straight up uh, they they straight up because uh, uh, they they made them cousins in the uh, <laughs> in the the adaptation yes um <clears throat> yep they're, they're, you said they're just really good friends well that's just it they they. They didn't want to project anything, so they're like, oh, "Look, this this closeness is because they're fam." <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm. What's this? A ghostly whale. We're being attacked. Oh crap! We're being attacked. Let's throw on a cloak and get to fighting. Yep. One down. Next. Pretty sure I can get this bandito. Your horse is dead and uh, condemned to float forever. They could be royalty. Don't, uh... I mean, yes, but, uh... Sometimes, uh... The Z Z British people get uh, uncomfortable when you remind them of that fact. I'm going to eat this fish. And more importantly, uh, put those books away. Extra crown away. Alchemy ingredients. Chase. All right, it was all the gold. There we go. I, I killed them into the air. Yes. Remind them that the uh, royal family is, uh, parts of it are family shrubs, not really family trees. Okay. Now then, uh, what were we saying? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yes. The reality is that, uh, if you actually look into bloodlines, like, over half of the people in Europe are directly related to the royal family. It's just that they're, um, uh, what do you call it, um, they're, they're too distant relatives to be considered. Um, whoops. I want to see what this is. This area looks fancy. I'm going to have a chit-chat with the people here. And by uh, chit chat, I mean, look at there, there's. It's orcs! There are orcs here. Yes. Yep. Yes, but, uh. Thomas Jefferson, uh. Th thankfully, is viewed as an honored ancestor more than, uh. A, 
uh, someone with any kind of uh, perceived power or, or, or re uh, reverence beyond. Uh... Whoop. Hold on. Orcish right spolder. Eh, it's just another one. That's fine. Orcs everywhere. I'm going to nap for two hours just to get our uh, magic up a bit. It's getting dark. There's another orc here. I came back. Yep. Pounding father, lol. Damn, damn, damn. Moth priest Thomas Jefferson. Jeez. We gotta go back to our horse. Uh, gonna bring our horse over to the orc camp that we just knocked over. Release the Sadukar! Juju, thanks for subscribing. 58 months. Oh boy. Okay, first things first. We need to put things away in the wagon again. I'm looking at this whole situation going, there's way too much stuff. And it's true. There is way too much stuff. Uh, eat another... I guess I can't have those yet. Two of those. Anything else we need to be concerned about? I don't need that many cure diseases either. Uh, put three of them away. Yes. Uh, resist potions I'll never have the opportunity to use. So I'll put those away for the moment. The 16 stamina potions are crazy. Uh, the tiger races. There are absolutely... There's no lore on the Akaberry races besides the fact that they exist. Uh, why didn't I sleep last night? Because I didn't. That's why. Okay. Ooh. Grab that pauldron there. Oh, there's some treasure. What do we got? Mm-hmm. Raid Mysterious Akavir, that's the whole story, <laughs> basically. There People like to make speculations online. Did you know there's no valid Akaviri map? A lot of people like there there were some fan made maps, but um that's all one hundred percent fan fiction. There are no map full maps of Nern. Oh, look at that. 600 gold crown. That looks good. Yeah, Todd Howard uh, straight up said, keep it mysterious. Don't, uh... Don't explain, Akavir. That was one of the things he said. Yeah, like, one of his mandates to the ESO team. So people were asking, you know, could, uh... Uh, are we, like, are we gonna get, uh... You know, Akavir and later ESO stuff? Not as long as Todd Howard's in charge. That may change. Microsoft may uh, wrest the control from him eventually. I'm going to turn the game down slightly because I want to be able to talk without causing trouble. Yes. Okay. Uh, nope. Ain't doing that. We're going to rest for... As until fully healed is fine. Yes. It's nighttime. We're going to keep resting. You're someone uh, chanting a different language nearby. Oh, that's great. Uh, oh, a thief. A thief wants to kill me. I like her outfit, but I know she's she's just stuck on the geometry, which is funny. Okay. I'm confident in my ability to clunk her before she clunks me. Yes. So I said this earlier. You were asking about Skyrim. Let me Let me pull this up. I posted a meme uh, uh, regarding uh, Skyrim pretty uh, recently. We have a look here. G give me a sec. It's uh, it's this one. I I, I, uh, I mentioned that. Uh, ahem. Uh, here we go. The best part of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim was seeing the Nords. Yeah, the Nords. Uh, um, seeing the Nords. Retaking their ancient magics. Yes. As you see, the, the Nords retaking their ancient magics. So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? That's right. <clears throat> I 
Mm. Do, 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 do. Anyway. Um, yeah, Skyrim was a lot of fun. I uh, would love to get a new giant mod list together for that, but probably ain't going to happen anytime soon. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Got a bunch of other things I want to run. Let me uh, pull up the, uh, the, the the Twitter tweet for you. There you go. That's the uh, that's the meme. Okay. Oh oh oh. She, you love oblivion unique landscapes. Yeah, unique landscapes. I also like most of better cities. I just really need to get a mod loadout that doesn't crash all the time. Ah, ah, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, shit, someone just uh, mentioned this. Uh, completely forgot, but uh, Final Fantasy XIV is going to be starting uh, March 24th. Or, uh, they're going to be testing uh, cross-region cross gameplay. Uh, will I be streaming Dragon's Dogma 2? I will be streaming Dragon's Dogma 1 after Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Yes, I will be doing that. I'll be streaming Dragon's Dogma 1. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Almost got her. Yep, she's dead. The thief that jumped me in the night is now dead. Yep. I do that frequently. New game comes out, I play old game. I did that with Breath of the Wild when Tears of the Kingdom came out. People got really pissy. It was funny. Alright. Let me see here. Do, do, do. But no, I legitimately uh, haven't finished Dragon's Dogma 1, so... It'd be nice to have two. Uh, let me see here. That's a mace I just picked up off the ground. Light silver flail. I'm looking at all the different, uh, like, items that I could pick, possibly pick up, and the answer is you can't pick up any of them. Go, go away. Go to, go to sleep. That battle axe is not for you. Okay. What time is it? It's, it's two in the morning. Let's cast some magic real quick. We're going to cast light a few times. And then rest. Yes. Okay, it's daytime. Let's get going. Hell yeah. Oh wait, let me let me check that barrel. Probably probably nothing. No, can't 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 use the barrel. It's fine. Um, Elder Scrolls Legends uh, felt better than Hearthstone, but I'm not actually a fan of card games. So what the fuck do I know? All right, a new Elder Scrolls Adventures title. That'd be great. Don't forget the bugs. Uh, proceed with caution. What the hell is this place? These are some ruins I uncovered. I just found some ruins in the wilderness. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, here they are. The, uh, ruins of the old Houghton Shack. I think they have a dungeon under them. Let's go find out. Crazy. There's a plaque there. Whoops. Excuse me, Mr. Horsey. Uh, we're, yeah, there's, there's a dungeon entrance right there. Cool. Bruins. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. We're gonna go... Dungon 3. Let's travel. This is a new dungeon. We haven't been here before. Oh, jeez. This place is huge. Ghosts? Why ghosts? Okay. And I mean, game companies are super risk adverse. So... You'd think that they'd uh, be up for that. Uh, just remaking Redguard. 
Toss it to the company that did it. <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront. I can't believe they re... They redid the old original Battlefront and did it wrong. It's great. I hear rats. Dirty, dirty rats. Yes. There are, there's like a laundry list of things that are wrong. I mean, you can get the old, ver you could, I should say, past tense. I don't know if you can now. But you could get the old version off of GOG. And it wasn't bad. Oh, God, it's a troll. Troll! Yes. This thing's kicking my ass. It was, oh, it was a dire ghoul. Crazy. He said a ghoul's tongue. I thought it was a troll. It's a enemy from Elder Scrolls 1. Yes. Mm-hmm. That uh, put Skyrim quality graphics and good controls. People would want to play it. It um, <laughs> Give Fudge Muppet something to talk about. Jeez. I mean, they really uh, combed over that game to the point where... Uh, like, there's nothing more to talk about. That said, I imagine, you know, the game is, like, what, 10 years old now? Uh, it's not like anyone could uh, could do it. Oh, wait, you said the, you can buy the GOG version in its own multiplayer cross-play with Steam users who have the classic version? Holy fuck. And that's, that's amazing, Con. I just happen to have that version. So, uh, yeah, no, it is what it is. All right. Give me a sec. Mm. You don't want Skyrim quality? Interesting. Uh, what what you do to trigger the bot? Better dot G's. That's the uh, the new URL. Better dot G's. But seriously, I don't care about graphical fidelity or anything like that. I just want more complex RPG systems, and you know maybe. Um, Maybe uh, some better writing. Yes. Okay. People with space board, uh, uh, sorry, space uh, bar problems will have trouble here. Okay, I have to eat fish. Then I have to use bandages. I will become the mummy. Wait, where are the bandages? They're there. Let's go. It's not even AI. It's a dumb uh, bot. Dire ghouls are waked to fire. Give me your loot. I know you have some. Yes. Hmm. My goodness. It doesn't just delete that post. It, uh... Yeah. Probably deletes everything. Well... Smitty never spoke. Not even once. Everything is AI now. Uh, AMD says AI regulates your fan curve. So what happens when the pattern matching algorithm goes awry and your fan um your fans shut off and your GPU overheats? Jeez. Hold on a second. Does Daggerfall Unity work on the Steam Deck? Yes, and so does OpenMW. It is completely possible to play these games, uh the custom engines on the um on the Steam Deck. Did you know that Helldivers 2, despite having kernel level anti cheat, works on the. Uh, wait, call it on the Steam Deck? It's crazy. They. Uh, they uh, tuned the anti cheat specifically to work on the Steam Deck. Yep. Okay. Need to heal this. 
Give me a second. I'm gonna sell Bruce. Good. This dungeon is interesting. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt that Elder Scrolls 6 will use basically what I refer to as hand-waggling combat. As in, um, like, if you're thinking of Kingdom Come Deliverance, it won't have that. If you're thinking of, um, like, Mordow or Chivalry, it won't have that. Okay. Yes, the public... Uh, correct. Uh, the major anti-cheats have Linux support for years. The developers just didn't turn them on. It's true. It's absolutely true. The EDF deploys. Fucking love EDF. It's a shame I'm just getting into EDF 5 now that EDF 6 is uh, coming around. I am always uh, slow when it comes to that one. That's right, ghosty. Let's have a look at this chest. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Vanilla dungeons? I, I don't know. Probably. I'm probably running vanilla dungeons. Whoops, what did I just do? Full screen. There we go. Okay. What's this? It's resistant to magics, uh, but it's defenseless against open. So we're going to do that. We're going to cast open. It remains sealed, bastard. Next, uh, a knock. Okay, fair enough. We're just going to we're going to save scum this this lock. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I, I usually run with vanilla dungeons because there wasn't a smaller dungeons option when I got used to the dungeons. So I got used to the dungeons. It's that simple. Yes. Okay. A bat just died. I'm going to go uh, explore some other stuff after w this one more try. One more try. I should probably just rank up the skill. It resists the magical assault. Goddamn. Resist the magical assault. Yeah. Damn. Brute force is the only option now. Yeah, ain't doing that. I like how bats are just getting killed. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this. Are you holding a staff? Of course we are. Here, I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, unequip all our gear so you can see. Uh, we, we've got... Uh, here, hold on. We, what we do is we wear these, that, and there. And you can see perfectly normal outfit there. Yes. What's killing the bats? It's probably a big old monster that's not on the, uh, uh, yeah, not on the bat side. There you go. So, uh, but yeah, we have an orcish staff. It's a magic stick that does the bonkening. Uh, but more importantly, uh, let's see. What do we got here? Mm-hmm. Put on a cloak, and here we go. Open. And then we can do two knocks. Yep. Will we be finishing the Red Lantern Guild? Oh no. Oh no. Um. Let me see here. I'm. Um, I'm just. Uh, 
I, I, I'm obsessed with this. I, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna use open, then I'm gonna sleep. Open. Sleep. Gonna, gonna waste months and years doing this. You'll see. Right open. Resist the, the cast. Right open. Hmm. It failed. It says that it's defenseless against magic. But uh, it, it freaking lies. We practice the open spell is the answer. Like we're getting... Uh... You see, it, it repels the, the cast. Now, the fact that I can cast open twice is pretty fancy. But uh, we're just going to go explore the rest of the dungeon at this point. Ready, ready to destroy the contents of the chest, everybody? Here we go. Um, <clears throat> scrap. Ebony. It had ebony inside of it. It, it had an ebony item. Iron, Dwarven, Elven, Glass Fragments, some destroyed jewelry. Yes. There we go. I destroyed an ebony item. That's glorious. I hear a ghost. Yo! Okay. It's better to take the shards with us than uh, leave it to rot here. We're gonna sell the uh, the ebony scrap. Damn. Rats. Speaking of. Good. We got, um... Mm-hmm. Lots to grab. What do you mean rat meat exists? Must have not been the quality if it broke due to, you know, 300 fireballs. Okay. The, um, what do you call it? The, the GOG cut of Daggerfall Unity is definitely crash prone. My version crashes because I have a bunch of mods that are not necessarily kosher. But, uh, that's neither here nor there. We're beating the sky rats. We, we, we defeated the ground rats. Now we're fighting sky rats. At least we're getting their fangs. Their small teeth. That's, that's worth it. This is usually a skeleton location. This is Privateer Holds module, by the way. If you know Privateer's Hold, you know this area. True. Bats. Beep, the bat says. The Sky Rats, yes. Does not unlock. There it comes. That's it. He's weak to fire. No question about it. Wish that I could easily loot the ghoul corpse, though. It's very difficult to get a... Uh... Whoa, there's a little campfire here. Cool. There are enemies nearby. Oh, no. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And those are empty already. Okay. Let's travel. We gotta go kill all the enemies in this big room. There are more. There are always more. Okay. 
Radio. Damn. Angry magic bat. I can hear the ghouls moaning. Are you a boy or a ghoul? My torch flickered. And I guess we don't have any oil. Huh. We should probably go back to the dungeon entrance at this point. So much junk. Moldy fish for days. Hmm, yeah, we uh, definitely don't have any oil, so we'll have to use this candle. Oh, it's a holy candle. It's still only worth five gold. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello, that's a ghost. Oh, God. Mummy, you've disturbed the dead. Damn! You've disturbed the dead! We got the mummy wrappings. What else? Uh, there's a dire ghoul over there. A torch, okay. Hmm. I have no idea. Uh, Tadius uh, Mandexius is uh, a, a producer on Indiana Jones. He is also hanging out with the Fallout TV show guys. Yes. Are we overpowered? Yes. We need to be overpowered to survive. Otherwise we will die. Okay. Good, good. We're moving along. We got it. I can't wait to see what kind of show it's going to be, yeah. The ghoul wishes he was overpowered right now. Something like that, yes. This ghost is giving me some troubles. Real troubles. Jeez. Get that ectoplasm. Okay, we're going up this way. Ghosts and ghouls. Did you know there's a really cool crossover game right now? that uh, uses uh, ghosts and ghouls as well as uh, Mario and Metroid. Uh, Samus, yes. A bunch of different games. It's a big old crossover 2D side-scrolling platformer. I was looking at it earlier. It's uh, really cool. Uh, let, me, let me pull it up because... Uh, I'm not going to pull up video of it because Nintendo would be like, oh, let's strike that video. Um... Instead, I will just put a link in the chat to it so you can look at it at your own leisure because it's worth looking at. So let me uh, see here. Um, uh, hello, hello. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Okay. Uh, it's not, not Super Smash Brothers. No, it's, it's got other things. It's, 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 uh, uh, it's got Doom. Yes. Let me uh, see here. I'm scrolling up. Okay. I did not find what I was looking for. I, instead, I found a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, which is not great. Um, uh, you, too, uh, can, can see Sonic the Goose and Amalgus uh, Shadow. That is, uh, that is a thing that exists. Yes. Okay. No, hold on a second. I've actually got the other one here. Do almost there. Okay, it's called Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. It's Mario, Wario, Sonic, Mega Man, Ghouls and Ghosts, Metal Slug, Doom, and Castlevania. 
Yes. I'm, uh, I'm linking it in the chat if you are so interested. I, uh, Nintendo would want me, would want to strike the video because, uh, it contains so much, uh, so many interesting things. But there's a download, like, right at the top there. It's, yeah, it's, uh, Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, and it's just a ton of different games all in one. Hmm. I've transformed the cage from a larger one to a smaller one. Such is my insane power. Okay. We're getting out of here. Our holy candle's gonna, uh, probably end up going out soon, so I have to be careful. Beware the mummies. Beware the coffins. This way. We gotta go. It looks amazing. It pretty much is amazing. Yes. But again, uh, Nintendo wouldn't want uh, fan games like that shared, so I, I can't show any of it in the video. Just tell you about it. Bats. Destroy the bats. We're going back to the dungeon entrance and we're going to get some oil for our uh, lantern. We're using a holy candle right now, which isn't a whole lot. Just uh, a little something. Okay, this should take us back to the entrance. Yes, the entrance should be right along this wall somewhere. There's the entrance, right there. Very good, very good. Those elven gauntlets enchanted? No, no, the, no, none of our gear is enchanted. We have some magic gear here. We have a rare symbol of toxic clouds. We got Sanguine's Rose. We've got a mark of recall. And we got an unrestrainable long shirt in case we get paralyzed. We can invoke the power of the shirt to uh, be not paralyzed anymore. But, um, yeah, give me a sec. We need to put some, uh, we need to put all this toxic meat away. Jeez. I actually need some food while we're here. How many, uh, ration packs I got? 35. I have 35 ration packs. This should be fine. In fact, that's too many ration packs to be carrying on me at a time. I'm gonna, uh, get rid of 15, keep 20. Yeah, it's way better. Okay. More importantly, though, um, yeah, we'll eat a cooked fish. And we'll go ahead and put away all the all, all the meat. We'll we'll end up selling the putrid meat later as like fertilizer. Um, a bad merchant will want like one gold for it. Yeah. So that should do it. We should be good to go. We're gonna. Uh, yeah. When when you get hungry, you'll eat some rations. I get it, I get it. But uh, put five more away. There we go. Now we're under a hundred uh, pounds of carry capacity. So. Uh, we are going to use that Mark of Recall to set an anchor at the dungeon entrance so we can just snap back. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, explore. And by explore, I mean go back to that uh, Privateer's Hold area. I'm interested in that section. Eventually, we'll have to go pick up some quests, but that's a different matter. My goodness. Well, got another goal. They're dead. Ghoul's tongues. They're everywhere. This is just looping me back around. I know there's a top piece to this module. Um, we should go find that first before we go to the privateer's hold section. This is it, the privateer's hold section is in a different module of the same dungeon. So, uh, yes. We go. Light the torch. Oh, nice. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do what I set out to do in the first place. Which was to refill my lantern. I was so busy, like, managing my inventory uh, in other ways that I didn't think about it. It's fine. We're still going to explore a bit. 
Kill some rats. We're, we're, we're in the section where our wagon is accessible. If we just go downstairs, we'll find it. In the meantime, kill rats. We're, we're not on a time limit or anything for this dungeon. We can take our time exploring it. Yep. Lamp oil. Rope. Bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Rats. Three rats. Okay. But yes, yeah, sometimes we make underpowered characters. Sometimes we make overpowered characters. And this time we made an overpowered character for funsies. Um, I need to kind of land on the edge here. There we go. Um, so much blood. Blood calls out for blood. There it is. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> we can now put the candle away. Indeed, indeed. All right, so what we need to do now is um, we need to use, oh, we need to find oil in our wagon. I'm going to use that to refill the lantern because the lantern is a light source that lasts much longer than the others. So, uh, hmm, I say as it kind of goes up and down. Trying to uh, go down up this list, but it's uh, not quite revealing itself to me yet. The oil's probably at the top, and all this loot needs to be sold. It's fine, really. Just gonna take some time. Oh, these are tall boots. They are silent, so they can silence enemies. Uh, that's fair enough. Uh, um, oh, Tome of Arcane Knowledge. Let's grab one of those. We'll use that. Uh, put away the history of locksmithing and the combat primer. What, what do we want? Good manners in polite society is probably something we'll end up using. So, yeah, let's grab that. Um, anything else? I don't think so. <clears throat> Wisdom item. Good luck gauntlet. Iron wheel pauldrons. Some silver blades. No big deal. Rotten food. Mm-hmm. How, how to make... Uh, sorry, why are map markers so functional? They're easy. They're, they're easy to design. That, that, that's why. Uh, from a design perspective, you can almost never go wrong with them. Okay, I see a skillet there for cooking, but I don't see oil. Oh, never mind, 20 oil. Cool, let's grab oil, um, let's grab 12 oil now, knowing we'll have to use about six. Okay, we have eight oil left. That didn't push us too hard on that. Uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and just use our lantern then. Bam. We lit, oh God, ghost. You spent too much time in the darkness. May never be able to find your way back. We cannot rest here because there are enemies nearby. We got to go over to the other section. Still, we have a we have a full lantern and we have six. Uh, sorry, we have eight bottles of oil, so we should be fine. We're just gonna take a nap here for a second. There are enemies nearby. Ghost. These ghosts do not like us. Still, we can kill them, get their ectoplasm, and that's nice. Speaking of which, there we go. Extra nice. Um. Of course, we slept very poorly. Uh, let's put down our camping kit. We got two of them? Yeah, we got two camping kits. That's fine. Point is, uh, we're not cooking the putrid fish. No cat sip for us, that's for sure. All right, pack that up and we're going. Happy Friday indeed. The food is getting ripe. Doesn't matter. We have ration packs. We, we don't have any fresh cooked meals, unfortunately. It's all ration packs. So. Point is, we can explore this top area without worrying about uh, issues. I'm pretty sure we'll find our way up eventually. 
in the fullness of time. On. Up here. Yes. This is it. This is the top area. Uh, candelabra. Sure. Oh, won't let us uh, heist that, apparently. Interesting. Oh, more ghosts. Our orcish staff can clunk ghosts pretty well. If you're using iron uh, or steel, ghosts don't really get damaged. Unless it's enchanted. So... We are grabbing small teeth and a treasure chest. I can't wait to explore the amazing uh, treasure chest there. Yeah. It's gonna be great. What's this? Oh, it's a lantern. And it triggered the ghosts. Who, who got their hands on Warhammer? A, uh, oh, Arc Strength Potion. That's nice. There's another treasure chest here. A lot of nothing. Got it. I need a higher luck stat. Whoop. Acto version. No, can't open that. This is a torture chamber. Oh, well. Let's see... Call of Duty's making a Warhammer mode. Overwatch is, uh, has Cowboy Bebop skins for $20 a piece. It's great. Sorry, $25 a piece. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to crack this chest open, maybe. Uh, what does it say? Uh, your mouth is filled with soot as you breathe. Uh, this is a defenseless chest. It's resistant to magic, fortify. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to crack this chest open. I just have to break it. Mm hmm People ask, well, how did they get the the, the Cowboy Bebop uh, intellectual property? You have to remember that Japan doesn't give a shit about Cowboy Bebop for the most part. It, 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 the fact that uh, Westerners are obsessed with Cowboy Bebop um, is uh, something that, like, the it, it's one of those weird pieces of trivia that uh, that Japanese people go, huh. I wonder why that is. That's so strange, you know? Um, it's one of those... Uh, it'd be like uh, if a, a particular other culture were, say, obsessed with Seinfeld or something, you know? It's uh, it, it's an obscure property that, that nobody cares about, but there are memes of it all the time, and... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yes, we were talking about how they got the license. That's what uh, I uh, intellectual property is for, boy. Uh, now, let's use this. Uh, can't do that with enemies around. Yes. Royalties or a licensing fee. Usually it's an upfront licensing fee for obscure stuff. Yes. Okay. Let me uh, do this one more time. Open! Failed. Yep. Ain't happening. We're going this way. Sleep on the bed. The bed is nice. Everyone loves the bed. You slept poorly, is the answer. Okay. We're going to blow this thing up. It erupts into pieces. The tattered cloth. The leather scraps. Silver scrap. Useless refuse. I got some money. That's fine. I'm destroying the chest. Which one is this? I'm going to go for the next one. I want to see what's in here. Uh, this one is resistant. It's defenseless against magic. Okay, that that's fine then. We're going to use open. Ah, we actually got treasure. Adamantium mithril. What is with all the boots? Jeez. Adamantium boots? 
Steel boots, mithril boots, uh, animal god book, amethyst, bracelet, five ration packs, and some small statuettes. That That is a, an actual chest that can be opened. That it might be, uh, take the time, it would be like weeks. I'd have to take weeks to train uh, lock picking, but yeah. We'll, we'll consider it. Ghost! Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, the uh, the value of those adamantium boots. Uh, sorry, the mithril. Yeah, mithril and adamantium is crazy. The, the Daedric boots we have are better, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that whole section. That's why I stayed in this module, like the starting module here. Be even though we got like a whole privateer's hold module over here. Um, I knew this layout had the secret room and we could probably get, find some cool stuff in it. So that's, that's, was my goal there. So we're going to go down to the entrance and we're going to deposit this stuff in the wagon. The red boots are superior. We also got the rare uh, version of the red boots with the gold trim. You don't always get the gold trim. Uh, yes, uh, correct. GOG has the Elder Scrolls games on sale right now. You should get them from GOG. Uh, specifically, uh, Morrowind. Good old games. It um, doesn't have any kind of digital rights management. Which is good. Okay. I don't like lockpicking minigames either. Though, oddly enough, since Helldivers keeps coming up, uh, I, I did like the uh, the stupid little uh, stratagem inputs where it's like up, down, left, right, like you're putting in a Konami code or something. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Al, did not mean to cast that. Oh, well, time to put down our... Uh, actually, no, we'll sleep in the, uh, the area up top. Hmm. Right. Uh, we, we got those, uh, it, it, well, I mean, okay, so you're, you're talking about special boots. Hold on. So what you do is you put these on, the, the, these shoes. Uh, we don't have any special boots to kind of match them, but um, we're doing pretty well. Uh, alternatively, we could also go with this and be, you know, that's the really necromancer look slash uh, something else we're not talking about. Uh, it's the, uh, yeah, the Red Lantern Guild there. Okay, what was I saying? Uh, troll -lo -lo. We're wearing a special uniform, yes. Um, ahem. Yeah, I'm not a fan of lockpicking minigames myself, but I understand why some people like them. I'm gonna go back this way. Going back around and up. Around and around. There we go. Mm-hmm. The beds, sh there should be a bed over here somewhere. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, bu 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 Mushroom Kingdom Fusion has a backstory, yes. It's good, but uh, it's a different matter. All right, we have to read some books. We're going to read the Tomes of Arcane. Actually, we're going to read uh, Manners in Polite Society. Uh, the Cold Air Numbs My Skin. Uh oh. Let's put on our cloaks. And then uh, take a three-hour nap. And that should give us enough time to cast, uh, to start to read more Manners in Polite Society. And then the Tome of Arcane Knowledge. And now we're going to rest until fully healed. Yes. There we go. Etiquette and Thaumaturgy just went up. That's good. Um... I suppose we should uh, continue exploring now. I just wanted to get uh, some training in there. Um, I was using the bed to rest, which is good. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's always good to like get an external hard drive and back up your stuff. Um, as far as like both uh. Uh, Gog and uh, Steam go. 
Especially uh, Gog is DRM free, so there's actually a huge amount of value in having your uh, backups because you don't need um, you don't need Gog running to actually play your Gog games. Whereas Steam, the floor is sticky from mead. Oh no, that sticky ground. Honey, alcohol, yay. Okay, so we just go through here, and this takes us to the other module. Okay, so we found a campfire we can rest at. That's nice. I've disturbed the dead! Put our armor back on. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. A gay Ben reserves the right to <laughs> revoke your rental at any time. Yes, unfortunately. Jeez, I'm paralyzed. Okay, thankfully we have a solution to that. We have the sh unrestrainable shirt. See, uh, we, we invoke the power of our shirt to become not paralyzed anymore. It's true. It's actually kind of awesome. Yep. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to use some epoxy. Oh, God, we don't have any epoxy on us. I was going to repair my staff. It's quote unquote used. Oh, well, is what it is. You have disturbed the dead. Yes, the power of the shirt. The shirt can uh, remove, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, par paralysis. Yes. We obviously have a mental link with our enchanted items, which honestly ma makes them useful for breaking that. Yes. The shirt is in good condition. Yes, it's slightly used. We may need to uh, use some enchanting dust on it later, which isn't a problem. Enchanting dust isn't a big deal. It costs a lot, but that's a different matter. Die a ghoul. It dead. Well, I mean, our dream is always to get a leaping brazier. That is to say, a bra that has... Um, I would call it levitation on it. That way it lifts and supports. But um, we're, we're going to go ahead and hit this here. Nothing over here. Hmm. Where are we going? There it is. Oh, shit. I'm still paralyzed. I'm still paralyzed. I see. Well, free action. The paralysis hadn't gone away. That was nuts. There should be a door here. No? No door here? Huh. Weird. Oh, yes. I remember the skirt of undeniable access. I, I, I do remember that. It exists. Here we go. Oh, a long shirt. That shirt has powers. Let's go ahead and rest here. I'm gonna make a campfire. Yes. All right, camp is here. Let's see. There's no nothing we need to do other than um, do, do, do. Nice. Um, Tome of Arcane Knowledge. And uh, we should be able to take a nap now. Yes. Good. Our mysticism skill went up. We ate a pack of rations. We should have 19 more rations to go. This is the door has nothing to fear from you. That's right. I'm going to kick this door down. It'll eventually crack. In the fullness of time. Hmm. Okay. There's a treasure chest over here. It was totally worth coming to. 
Gonna save the game before we do anything, just in case. And what do we got? It's resistant to breaking, but its lock is defenseless. Which means nothing. The lock clicks open! Gold crown for 2,600 for the silver crown. Yes, some lodestone. Vernacular of the lower classes. This is a book that trains you in streetwise. Uh, some orcish... Oh, better looking orcish greaves is more like it. Hell yeah. Like we get to replace our current... Yeah, that th those orcish greaves are much better. Oh, and a map. Cool. I wasn't expecting that. So, um... What we do for that specifically is we, uh, we go over here. Um, da, 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 da. So, yeah, we click on the map. And then... Good evening, me lord. Helps to have a map. Helps to have a map. Helps to have a map. Okay. So, uh, the Yomston Vaults is where that leads to. That's fine. Let's go ahead and take off. Lost all my magic, unfortunately. Ran out of all the magic. Gonna have to take a uh, three hour nap real quick. I say three hours, I say more like five hours. It's fine. We're going. Yep. Good evening, my lord. Okay, so this whole section doesn't matter too much and this loops back down around to the entrance. Yes. Okay. Activate that. We got ghosts to kill. We stale from the ghosts. Probably a terrible idea. Come on. I have no idea. The ghost is dead. Hooray. Torches for days. Another one of those ghouls. Yes. Come on. The dire ghoul. Had a whole lot of nothing. Oh, God, bats! Bats! That was a lot of bat. More than I expected. This area is not the same module. Like the, the, there are three different modules, it seems. Like the it's the same in the privateer hold one. So that's not a huge dungeon, but uh, it's something to keep in mind. I hear ghouls. Is this water route? The little cave area. Ghosts and ghouls. It's a pretty fun dungeon. A fungeon. Yes. Ectoplasm. Let's go up here. Stop it. Damn. That dire ghoul though. Can I can I can I please switch off, thanks? Good. Uh, there we go. Steel longbow. Can I rest here? The answer is yes. Let's get our camping kit out. Uh, how are we doing on that? It's used. There, There's a new one as well. Good. Let's do it. First things first, we're going to cook the uh, smelly meat. Put smelly meat in mouth. Yes. Okay. That should do it. Let's uh, cook a couple of those as well. And then rest for a bit. 
Okay, before we do anything further, we're going to use a, the Tome of Arcane Knowledge. Uh, good manners in polite society. Yeah, the Tome of Arcane Knowledge. And now we will rest some more. This should be fine. Good. We ate some rations and our illusion skill improved. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Gonna grab our stuff here. Pack it up. Food's starting to get ripe. That's unfortunate. Uh, we should be okay. Yeah. We got some meat. We're invigorated by the meal. Invigorated by the meat. Damn. Getting distracted by all the things. Come on. Our matey is uh, pretty decent backup, yes. Um, but really, it it pays to uh, have, oops, a nice backup copy locally, external hard drive or whatever. Okay, we're gonna blow these guys up. Damn right! Give me your ectoplasm. What's next? This way. Rats. Where there's one, there will be more. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Where there's one, there will be more. See? Not as bad as that orc dungeon where we were running into, uh, like, a whole army of orcs. Got it. Come on. There we go. Nothing here. We're going up. Yeah. I'm going to try to get to the top of this area. Unless we're already there. Wait. Yeah, straight ahead. I hear another ghost. Mm-hmm. How uh, varied are the procedural quests? Uh, uh, there are... Well, it depends. I mean, the vanilla game, not so much. There's like, what, a hundred? Something like that. But, um, you know, you start installing quest packs and suddenly that number balloons quite a bit. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Let me uh, move some stuff around. Yes. Oh, this area is a dead end? Really? Now, it looks like a doorway on my map, so I'm going to TCL through it just to kind of see what's in there. And the answer is a whole lot of nothing. Got it. So it really is just a cap for a uh, dungeon module that doesn't want to extend in that direction. I understand. Normally, that, that would be the linkage to another piece of the dungeon. Like, it would, the dungeon would continue in that direction. But it's not doing that here. Got it. Ectoplasm is mine. Come on. Good. I hear water enemies around. Damn ghoul. Almost got him. He's gone. How many ghoul tongues do I have anyway? Too many is the answer. Red skull down there. Up, up, and away. A lot of nothing in the darkness. Except the enemy, of course. Come on. On the verge of death. Got it. 
Do a favorite fate stories. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let me see here. To to be honest, um, I, I I like the one that nobody likes, and that's the case files of Lord Elmoloy the second. That that that's um a continuation of Fate Zero. I'd say Fate Zero was my favorite. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Sanctuary RPG Black is on sale. Oh yes. Holy crap. Uh uh. Who the hell doesn't like it? A lot of people. Well, let me uh let me go ahead and go. Uh, I I, I want to remind people about this. Okay, so there is a game called Sanctuary RPG Black Edition. Now, I've only played it for 102 hours, so I couldn't tell you a whole lot about it, except for the fact that it's uh, really fun, right? So, uh, uh, here we go. So yeah, that, that game there is currently 85% off. It's a dollar and 19 cents. Yes. So, uh, j j just saying that, uh, it's pretty cheap. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Right. Okay. Taking a couple more things here. Uh, yeah, it's just meat. We don't need to worry about that. Let's keep going. There's... See, that's the ghoul we killed. That leads us back down and around. So we gotta go up. Got it. Yeah, Sanctuary RPG is... Um, pretty good. I'm thinking about, like... The, the issue is, uh, I haven't really looked over the, uh, sale too much. I went ahead and I picked up Helldivers 2 because it turns out that's a pretty damn good game. Um, picked up, uh, Berserk Boy because that's a Mega Man ZX, uh, spiritual successor. And, whoops, two kinds of ghosts. Gotta be careful. Oh, I'm on the verge of death. This is not good. Okay, I need to back up. I need to use bandages before we go back down there. Ten bandages should do it. Okay. We got enough health to be able to knock this guy down, I'm assuming. Wait. He's gone, too? The oh, they both died into the same fireball. Cool. Let's uh, see if we can set up a uh, camp here, then. First things first. Set up camp. Then we'll cook some meat. Yes. That should do it. Uh, before we rest, let's go ahead and use Good Manners and Polite Society as well as that Arcane Tome. And now we can rest. You're currently unwell due to disease or poisoning. Resting now could lead you to an early grave. You feel bad. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Um, what game were you talking about? Oh, you, you know, you mentioned Top Hats and Champagne. Hold on a second. Um, I think it was... Um, like, let, let's have a look at the uh, list here. Um... No, his game is still uh, still full price. Born Punk is a pretty good game. Um, what do you call it? 
It's a uh, a point and click adventure game, but it's uh, it's cyberpunk and uh, kind of fun. So I'd recommend checking that out. Uh, unfortunately, can't can't do uh, what's it called. It's, not, it's on the the spring sale, so. I was looking at things specifically for the spring sale. Um, hold on. Yeah. People are like, Alan Wake 2 is on sale. Oh, <laughs> uh, world's 10% off. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this, uh, this <laughs> website and it's like, hey, all of these uh, games are 10% off. It's like, okay, that's fine, I guess. Hotline, Hotline Miami is definitely a different type of game, that's for sure. Street Fighter 6 is 34% off. Of course, they're going to get you in DLCs and character packs. Yes. Let me see. I'm looking... Double... Ch okay. Uh, the new God of War... Uh, sorry, the God of War 2022 is... Uh, 50% off. I, I don't really care about Data Boy, but I understand why some people would enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Hunt Showdown. Hollow Knight is 50% off. That's a good game. That's a good game to pick up. Pe oh, shit. Pentiment's 50% off. Y you kidding me? Hold on. Let, let me find it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Pentiment is 50% off. This, um... If you ever wanted, um, like, the quality of writing from uh, Fallout New Vegas slash, um, uh, what do you call it, the New Vegas DLCs, uh, you're going to be able to get that in Pentiment, probably. I'm not saying, you, you, you won't get, uh, what do you call it, um, you probably won't get a, um, like, the kind of experience, um, I, I, it's not the same format as like New Vegas but I mean the like you can tell that the same people who wrote uh, Pentiment wrote uh, New Vegas all right let's see here yeah I'm, I'm unwell what am I uh what am I weak with I'm gonna go ahead and rest for three hours and find out yes I'm currently unwell it says well, I haven't seen any problems, so I'm going to rest until fully healed. You feel somewhat bad. What do we got? Contracted dementia. I see. Slowly robs you of your intelligence, willpower, and personality until you're dead or a cure has been applied. I see. Um, well, then, let's go ahead and use the meats. Uh, why didn't I sleep last night? I don't know. There, there were several factors. <sighs> okay, let's get going. So, uh, duh, 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 duh. dementia. It's a great disease that we caught. We're going to need to use magic to cure it. Mm. There we go. Okay, we've cured our dementia. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yep, you feel bad is no longer a problem. Let's go ahead and save here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's pack up and resume our journey. We're exploring this dungeon. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I mean, we cured the dementia for now, but, uh, you know, definitely... Uh, Definitely nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is happening here? I'm checking a couple things. Oh, well. Yeah, so based on everything on the Steam sale, you wanted something that wasn't in early access that was good. Uh, Pentiment is 50% off. That'd be something you could get. Um, do, do. Vampire Survivors. <laughs> no. Oh, the original Dragon's Dogma is uh, under $5, apparently. 
Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's see. He uh, said so Tim Kaine said he uh, himself would not have gone with base building and Fallout, but he understands. See, I think base building in any kind of post apocalyptic wasteland is actually a. Generally, a great idea, provided that it is measured against the rest of the game. Yes. Okay. So, uh, let's put on our cloaks. Yeah, we don't get cold as easily, and we don't, um, get as fatigued running around, uh, not wearing our armor. Which is funny. I'm gonna go this way. Ghoul is still dead. Let's see. I'm gonna figure out where this connects to. If there's anywhere else we want to go. I don't think so. I think we're basically done here. Mm hmm. You only make a square? Squares can be creative in their own way. I mean, look at my uh, Power World multiplayer giant square castle there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I, um, I like playing a variety of characters, male and female. My issue is that uh, there is a mod that adds a ton of different clothing options for female characters. And there's no equivalent for male characters yet. I know uh, Kamer's working on a few different outfits, but, um, you know, uh, expression is uh, a, a big part of it. I personally like it. Uh, I, I have uh, I have an affinity for games where you can cross-dress and stuff like that if it hasn't already, um, uh, already been made apparent, lol. Anyway, um, can't can't do that in this game though, not even a bit. Okay, we loop around here. Degeneracy ho. Let's go. Mhm. Mm Let's keep going. No, not that way. But we managed to unlock the door. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we've fully cleared out this area. There are no other connections. In fact, I can see the red brick there where it just kind of leads off into space. This goes nowhere. So, um, hmm, trying to fit. Okay, the connector is right here, which means we got to make like three rights. Yes. Down and around. But I like playing a variety of characters for a variety of reasons, but um, one of my favorite things with characters is, you know, uh, different uh, outfits and things like that. And it's like, if you tell me that uh, option A gives you, say, 10 outfits and option B gives you 200 outfits, of course I'm going to go with option B. But if they're the same, if the options are the same, then I will turn around and, um, what do you call it, uh, probably switch between the two, depending on which character I'm running. Okay, we're now down at the bottom level, so we, let's go find, uh, there should be a water route down there, we're not going to go in, we're just going to look at it real quick. Oh, never mind. Ah, 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 that's funny, that's funny. It's funny they think I'm going to fight those guys like that. Whoop. Uh, fireball. Yeah. Getting that ghost. They're too far away to access your wagon. Well, why did it open the inventory? Oh, because I was looting the ghoul by accident. I was trying to, I was trying to hit the uh, ghost. Yes. See that? Bam. Faded ghost. Dead. Ectoplasm is mine. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Wait till you see the avatar later. Uh, yes, whenever I don't want to be on uh, on camera for any reason, say I'm just too tired or I have a headache or whatever, you know, I've got I've got a uh, I, I've got the virtual avatar I I can use. This is uh, this is the um, uh, th this is the cost me zero dollars uh a super discount uh avatar that i that i use it ju it just tracks the facial movements but i don't have to have bright lights on or anything like here here i have to run bright lights you know but uh when i'm running the avatar it just it just needs like the basic facial points and that's it got it from a discount no a friend made it for me for free so i spent zero dollars making it that's uh pretty important there are people who spend thousands uh, getting their uh, vir virtual presence known. Me, I just, I just want a mask. That's all. <clears throat> yep. Do -do -do -do. Come on, come on, Pat. What are you gonna do? Keeps moving back and forth. Fine. You die then came at me as soon as I shot at it. That's funny. Uh, I wouldn't say the Chinese government, no. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, let me see here. Nope. No diets for me, thank you very much. I want double gluten. All right. Where are we going? I've been losing weight to the point where my ring, like, basically slips off, like, you know the way people will get like a, a a permanent mark you know like you have a ring there you can kind of see the mark right there um like right here um my uh my ring just kind of starts slipping off now because I've been losing so much weight and so, you know health issues oh boy um yeah are you on a diet nope I mean I do sometimes choose not to have dessert or something like that, but uh, I wouldn't say that occasional conscious moderation is uh, is um, um, you know. Whoop is a diet. Okay. Oh, come on now. I typically only have one cup of coffee per day. We all know that. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and hit this. Hold on. I have to configure the camera. The camera's not configured yet. Hold on. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hit that. And okay, camera's configured. We can uh, switch over to it now. As I said, I usually only have like one cup of coffee per day, you know, ju ju just one cup. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So no, no, no issues there. Not even a bit. Today I'm just having this, uh, this little like Legend of Zelda cup though. You can see right there. It's the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Hold on a second. Baldur's Gate 3 universe is both accurate and soul-killing. Oh, boy. Um, yes. I, I like how people say uh, Baldur's Gate 3 universe instead of the Forgotten Realms. That's really sad, actually. All right. My goodness. Ahem. Whoops. Uh, they like an article said that 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 a game was set in the Baldur's Gate 3 universe aka um forgotten realms right 
but uh, that the issue is that people people are now seeing um, the Forgotten Realms not for the Forgotten Realms. They're like, it's the Baldur's Gate Three universe. Yes, exactly. It's been around since the seventies. It has like countless novels and shit. It's accurate, but it's also depressing that uh, that's what it is known for now. Yes. It's uh, it's kind of funny, though. I mentioned this last night when I was playing Helldivers, but um, like I have been making Shy Halu jokes for like 20 years, and people are only now getting them. Because of the Dune movies. Seriously. Okay. Ghosts! Damn. Fuck. Damn. That thing tanked so many hits. Heal myself. Never played Dark Alliance that I remember. I, I look at the footage and I think that I may have watched a friend play it at some point because I recognize it. Uh, Ebony? Yeah. Yeah, we got Adamantium. Adamantium Helmet Chassis. Uh, Orcish Spalder, Dwarven Pauldron, Elven Gauntlets, and Daedric Boots. Yeah, but I, I've, I've seen... I've seen Dark Alliance before. I just haven't, don't remember playing it. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I know there are no Daedric heals. It's sad, actually. But we got him. Cool. We were almost dead, but we survived. Um. No, no, I mean, like, we we straight up have, like, in, as far as, like, our outfits go, we have access to healed shoes. Like, uh, these, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and use a camping kit. And then see about uh, cooking. Uh, bu 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 bu, just those, thank you. And we're gonna rest. Rest two hours. Then we need to use books. We need to use Good Manners and Polite Society. Mm, that didn't work, hold on. I didn't click it right. There we go, yes. The book has is unusable. We gotta go get another one later. Yeah. Spend an hour studying. Whoa, I died. The cold air numbs my skin and I'm dead. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I, uh, I may have spent an hour reading while I was dying of, uh, something. Probably poison. Possibly cold. That's, uh, pretty funny. And, uh, give me a sec. I gotta restart the game. My bad. It, it, what, was, what was the meme? What was the, uh, I, I, th I think it was this meme here. Right there, that one, maybe. Um... Give me a moment to restart the game. Um, right. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, let me uh, set that up. Yeah. That's good. Right. Yeah, we f either froze to death or we, uh, we, uh, you know, one of those things happened. Who knows? Pain, suffering. Death. Oh well, it is what it is. Du, du, du. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine.
Did I play the new Final Fantasy VII thing? I didn't play the old the oh, the old new Final Fantasy VII thing. Um, wake me up when they've released all three as a bundle on PC. So like ten years from now or something. I I quite enjoyed Final Fantasy VII. It was fun. Um, really, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was going to say, uh, do, 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 do. hold on a second. So, someone said, play, uh, being an actual scientist is more akin to being a factory worker than an inventor. Yes, yes, yes. Um, less the realism, more the disrespect. Yes, uh, sorry, l less the lack of realism, more the disrespect. Yes. Uh, okay. We got it. I just need to respond to somebody about uh, a conversation we've been going on about uh, how people can't write, uh, write like mages and, uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, uh, they, they, they can't write good mages and uh, like intelligent people in general. I, you know, I, I would know I'm, I'm definitely not that intelligent, but it's, uh, it's kind of annoying in, in the way, um, like ESO, for example, like really, really disrespects any um, lore intelligent characters. You know. Um, okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, didn't show what now? What What are you talking about? I have no idea what you mean. Not even a bit. Okay. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> So, let's get going. Yes, Baldur's Gate uh, 3 had pretty well-written characters. Its overall story was kind of questionable, but that's a different matter. Skirt? You, you mean, uh... Yeah, we got one right here. It, it, it says casual pants, but it's actually a skirt. You can see. Uh, grab that. Damn. Ghosts. Got him. Ectoplasm is mine. Yes, very casual pants. There's also a, a casual pants that is a, um... What do you call it? Um, well, hold on. I was going to say a string. Doo -doo -doo. Don't think you can handle DOS whimsy. I don't know what you mean. I have no idea. Yes, uh, there are secret doors. Two treasure chests. Probably can't win this, but I'm going to go ahead and save anyway. Okay, let's see what this... Tre this treasure chest is flimsy and defenseless. We can probably crack it open. Uh, okay, cannot crack it open that way. What? Uh oh Longbow, silver flail. Cool. We got some stuff. That was a low-grade chest. We did not break anything inside of it, oddly enough. Uh, let's see what's next. This one is also flimsy, wooden, uh, defenseless, so we'll crack, crack, crack it open. We've jammed the lock. What a shame. We we jammed the lock. Unfortunate. Oh, iron brigadine helmet. Oh, leather scrap. So we broke a leather item. What a shame. Okay. Well, this should be good enough. Um. We're gonna put down a camping kit here, and we're gonna see about cooking just the smelly meat, not the uh, moldy or putrid meats. Eh, it should be fine. So first things first, before we do anything more, we're gonna uh, we're gonna save here. Uh, do, 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 right. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Arcane. There we go. Good, we can sleep now. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're acting like this is a vanilla game. Um like I at all. Like you're uh You have to understand that we're not playing vanilla Daggerfall. 
If you type exclamation point mod list, uh, go check out the top article on the page. You're going to see uh, all the additions we've made, which is many. Many. Stifle a yawn. This is not the original game as intended. Not even a bit. Okay. Oh, there we go. The bot will uh, get around to it eventually. There you go. Yeah, we, we're just going to drop the putrid meat so that we don't need any more. Anything that's putrid will drop for now, and that will get us the opportunity to loot the ectoplasm. This area is weird. Nothing in there. Mm-hmm. Super special edition. Uh, this is Daggerfall uh, 2 Turbo. Yes. Hyper Fighting Edition. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the Mark of Recall to teleport back to the dungeon entrance. We went uh, a couple modules back there. That's fine. And uh, put everything away now. Except those. And then put that away. Yes. I'm going to be extra careful with this. Okay, we've got a long shirt we can uh, kind of deal with. Don't need to worry about that meat there. Scrap there. That's a lot of jewelry in general. Common symbol icon. What else? Hmm. Looking at... Oh, it's the alchemy ingredients that were weighing down heavy on me. Makes sense. Good, good. How are we doing on ration packs if we run out of actual food? We have 18 rations. Let's put three rations away. Um, Actually, let's put eight rations away and just have ten. We, we can get through here with the ration packs as is. Let's use our Mark of Recall to anchor here. And um, we'll head on back into the dungeon and explore some more. As you can see right here, we're... Uh, we're in this module. Like the, you can kind of uh, divide dungeons into these horizontal, sorry, these vertical blocks here. Um, and so, like this here is a module on its own. And then, um, if you go over here, this is another module, and this is another one. And there's one up here. So there's actually four modules so far. What we're going to try to do, because I got caught up in this one, and it's not that big a deal. Uh, we actually want to head over to this one that is a Privateer's Hold module. And we're going to go check this one out in just a second. But uh, for now, let's uh, head on up. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Adventures, question mark. We go, I guess, I have to figure out where it connects. It connects over uh, here to the side. So, right up here. We got, we got to go up. Up, up, and away. Is the Archaeologist Guild the Legacy of the Dragonborn? No. They are at odds with the Mage's Guild. The Mage's Guild wants to break down... Uh, magical relics to, you know, learn their powers. And the Archaeologist Guild wants to preserve them for their historical significance. Both of which are eminently willing to betray their own principles and use the relics however they want, whenever they want. But, um, yeah, no. It's uh, it's the, the primary uh, crux um, is that the, the, the two of them whoops, are uh, at odds with one another. Yes. See you later, Mr. Mackey. Okay. Come on. Very good, very good. The floor is sticky from mead. Unlock that door. Does not unlock. Well, guess what? I have the power of the mighty foot. 
I'll kick that door down. Damn, I don't recognize this uh, version of the room. Full of crates. Rats. So many rats. Access your wagon. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Gather your party. Yes. Trying to see it. Oh god, there are more of them. You say Paris, I say New York. Still looking. There are more of you! I'm getting a good amount of uh, fangs. There's another one back behind the rocks there. Damn. He's a good man. What a rotten way to die. We're gonna head on down this way. This should lead us down and back to the beginning of the dungeon. We just finish off these bats. Got him. Fireballs. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't actually, um... Don't actually like the, um... What, what do you call it? Um, the smaller dungeon setting. That's not for me. I understand it's for some people, but I want to spend hours and hours exploring the dungeons. There's a ghoul down here. You can hear him. There's also a treasure chest here. He's dead. What a shame. Wait. Hold on a second. Go to the end. We're almost to the beginning. People will recognize the beginning. We go all the way over here. Get out of my way, ghost. Gotta kill the ghost. Hey, dead. Mm-hmm. Well, I enjoy the dungeons for the dungeon's sake. Not just, um... Not as uh, an obstacle to get by, to get to, get to the real story, so to speak. There's a difference. Rats! This is the entrance. This is the beginning of Daggerfall, but in a different dungeon. See, uh, th uh, that's why I called this the Privateer's Hold module. Because this is essentially Privateer's Hold dungeon, except it's only one module that sometimes shows up in other dungeons. See, the m main entrance is over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see what's in this. This is uh, defenseless against magic. Good to know. Open that lock. What? What do you mean it jammed? That is awful. But if we reload... Oh boy. We're not reloading. We're breaking the thing. It's hard, sturdy, resistant. I don't care. I'm just gonna blow it up. I'm just gonna blow it up! We did it. Mithril Pauldron! Yeah, maybe some got some shiny rubble, some ruined coins. No big deal, but Mithril Pauldron. What kind, what kind of pauldron is this? This is a left pauldron. Goodbye, Dwarven. Hello, Mithril. Upgrade. We did it. 
We broke the we broke something silver. We broke something shiny, and we broke some coins. Okay, so we we lost some treasure, but we got access. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. Stop here. We're going to use our books. We're going to learn Spoking with Talk. Arcane knowledge and good manners. Okay, let's go ahead and rest again. Good, good. Stealth dodging, restoration, blunt weapon. As they should. As they should be. We're not dead yet, so this is good. We can continue our adventures, question mark. Still, I think we we upgraded to Mithril. Pretty happy about that. We're going to be upgraded to full Daedric before uh, we even get started with the Emperor's Quest. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you like being a mage without the absorption thing? I mean, it's what I did with uh, my last character, Sassy. I, I had a, a mace and uh, magic, but if you mean forego all melee in favor of uh, just magic, probably not. The, uh, the magicka regen isn't balanced enough in this game to support that. You, you need a mod just for that. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Water skin's already full. That's fine. Brawl Batty. What a strange thing there. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. Like, using magic as your only vector of attack just isn't practical in this game. You'd have to use uh, some sort of magic regen mod. Otherwise, you'd be spending weeks and weeks just uh, doing, like, the most simple of dungeons. I, I know I've spent days and days, but that's a different matter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Up oh, there's a ghoul. Good. You could use potions. Yes, but look at how potions are obtained. You'd have to use like the archaeologist guild mod to get early access to potions. Right? Yep, yep, yep. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Let me see here. Potions are not uh, easy to come by in the uh, vanilla game. I'm gonna go up and around. I did something stupid. I just made a full loop. Fine. This way. This goes up. You can hear the bats. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. You've disturbed the dead. That's a vampire. Okay. Barely ever as loot. They're rare loot in the vanilla game. Yes. Ooh. That was terrifying. Vampires aren't that big a deal, usually. Gotta be careful about uh, catching their disease. We just opened up a section of the dungeon. Yeah, I've already been up that way. Okay. Going up. 
Yeah, hopefully we don't become a vampy. You can open the cages. One sleep spell. Yeah, you're right. I don't have... Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, it'll uh, reduce your stamina. You're absolutely right. I was thinking about that. I have access to... Um, hold on, let me... Let me use the Tome of Arcane Knowledge. And rest here. Good. Enchanting is even harder to get access to than... Um, sorry. Magic item crafting. Let's, let's not call it enchanting when it isn't enchanting. Magic item crafting is uh much harder to get into than in any other game yes oh there's a door there uh -uh. I'm looking at kind of the entrance there, trying to think, okay, well, if it's behind that uh, statue, how do we get to it? Mm-hmm. Yep. You made your first patch in SSC Edit. Uh, what kind of mods did you uh, try to link there? And gonna climb this wall. Gonna climb this wall! Not TCL time. I know what, what's. I know where that links up to. I know this module. We go down this way. We just had to climb that wall. That's all. Climbing skill. We, it's not that high, but it. That that kind of small wall doesn't matter a whole lot. I remember when the climb skill was broken in an earlier version of Daggerfall Unity, and you were essentially just. Uh, a, uh, you're basically Spider-Man. And you could just climb everywhere, including on the ceiling. My lantern flickers and dies. Hmm. Okay. Ghost! That was scary. Good thing we can pause the game, or I'd probably be dead right now. Ah, ah, ah. The dagger falls. He also absorbed, like, ten spells. Crazy, crazy ghost. Like, this isn't it. Hmm. This isn't it at all. You are starving. No, I'm not. I have rations. You're crazy. I'm gonna eat this moldy meat and surely not get a stomach virus. It's great. Okay. So, it doesn't go down here. Weird. Fireball! Got him. We're doing well. Whoop. This was the exit of Privateer's Hold. But here, it's just a chapel. This guy keeps backing up. He's very scared of me. Not much you can do about it. How do ghosts turn to bone? Perhaps the ghosts have the bones inside of them. Yes. Nothing back there. What a shame. Okay, before we do anything else, 
Let's see about... Hmm. I was uh, debating if there was anything I could grab or uh, deal with. I guess we have a, a one. Yeah, we need to keep the Tome of Arcane knowledge, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, we sell the uh, the meat as fertilizer. Yes. Toxic cloud! Didn't do anything. Fine. Fair enough. Where's my potion of healing? Heal true. Yes. Good. Yeah, they'll they'll pay for it if we go to a, a low grade shop. There's one more ghost. There's also two treasure chests here. You can uh there's an unseen harvesting skill that's not a part of uh not a part of my skills list. Okay. Do, 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 do. Did anyone see Dracula 3000? Where there was a starship captain, Van Helsing, and he was uh, transporting cargo in his cargo ship. And then real, like, uh, like uh, what do you call it? Medieval era Dracula with his, you know, full nobles attire uh, sneaks into a cargo container on his on on Van Helsing's spaceship intending to kill him that was that was a movie that existed all right let's see here what do we got uh this is resistant it's defenseless against uh f fixing locks it, it's it's called uh Dr Dracula 3000 yes that's an awful movie yep yep Uh, hold on. Do, do. Grabbing it right now. Hold on. Okay. So. It was. Uh, hold, hold on. Yeah. So, uh, it, it's, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool Coolio gets turned into a vampire by Dracula. Uh, let me see. What, what? Yeah, that's that's. Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, that's. Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know. I need to open this chest. <laughs> Making sure it's a proper save right here. Uh, open lock. Suit. Oh no. Uh, d -d 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 yes. Yes. The crew opened it. Yes, it's very stupid. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Ah, uh, yeah. So we have to rest now. We have to put on our cloaks. We have to throw on a campfire. One of the bad ones. There you go. Bam. Worn down. Good enough. We need to rest. We should be fine now. Destruction increased. More importantly, we should be able to cast two opens in a row. Here, if we do this, open. When it says spell effect failed. Yeah. That's just fine, really. Open. How the hell can the spell effect fail? It says it's defenseless against magic. Why? Why? Let's go check the other one. Let's go check the other chest. I, I, I don't know. I, I got, I'm, I'm safe scumming the hell out of this, but it's still being special. This one is resistant, but defenseless against... Uh, so we have to blow up this chest, unfortunately. But we can go ahead and uh, open this one. Yes. Uh, chase. Let's go ahead and open the chest. 
The fact that it says spell effect fail is absolutely nuts. I have no idea. Yeah, the, the, the fail rate is insane. I'm looking at this just, just scratching my head going, this is, this is nuts. How? 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 I'm gonna cast knock a bunch for fun. Knock is a low grade to open. What's your skill level? Too low. Too low. Yes. Way too low. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. We're just gonna blow these two up. We're one more try, then we blow up both chests. Here we go. Nope, we're, we're gonna nuke these chests now. I'm gonna use destruction and turn them into little pieces. Ah, boom. Thing is too resistant. We got it. The other one now. We did it. Adamantium battle axe. We're gonna sell that. There's some iron scrap, some ruined coins. We'll take the ruined jewelry. Tattered cloth is terrible. Let's go. Okay, uh, what's this? Money and some plant matter. Wow, useless refuse. Okay, we got some dwarven scrap, elven scrap, steel scrap. Yes. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? I feel like a cheater instead of a cheater in game. What? What the hell are you going on about? Th this. These are the ruins of the things I would have gotten if I had actually opened the chest. "Quote unquote," legitimately, you're 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 crazy, you're absolutely nuts. Like, uh, I didn't get the rewards; I got some scrap instead. You're 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 a lunatic. Let's go. <clears throat> yes. Do, 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 do. My goodness. Heading on down. <laughs> okay. I'm nonsense is that no this way. Onwards and sideways. Okay. We're still traveling. Hmm. Down we go. Okay. Well, we finished the Privateer's Hold module. We've gotten all the loot we're probably going to get, which that adamantium pauldron was definitely worth it. I think we have to get back to the dungeon entrance now. That's, uh, yeah, just mark a recall, teleport, no issue there. All right. Yeah, that adamantium battle axe is going to sell for pretty well when we're done with it. It's going to be fun. For now, though, we must uh, figure out, yeah, put the meat away. The meat is all spoiled. Going to go sell it for fertilizer. Same thing for the broken pieces, the destroyed jewelry and scrap and things. Uh, we can't use the book until we get a new book later. But we should be able to get ourselves some... Uh, not the vernacular of the lower classes, but there should be like a lockpicking journal there. Somewhere around. Alright. My goodness. Um... Do, do, do use the book there. Hmm. Let's 
save there. And we're out. We're leaving the dungeon. Yes. We did it. We accomplished a little bit in that dungeon. So we're going to make absolutely certain it's uh, travel time. Yes. Like Skyrim with spells? What, what do you mean with spells? You mean with other spells? I don't know about that. Uh, an hour and uh, 52 minutes. We're traveling. Okay, before we do anything else, we're going to stop. We're going to unequip all our gear so that uh, we don't get cold from the uh, from the metal. Then throw on our cloaks, and we're good to go. I like flying and stuff. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, we're going to travel on over. Where the hell? There we go. Castle King House. We're traveling this way. I thought I saw something. Oh, well. Must have been my imagination. Very good. Okay. Wait. That was the road. Hmm. We should probably take that road and come to Castle King House later. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to, like, I just found a road. I'm going to follow it. Here we go. Yes, the wagon always breaks. And then you repair it with the many, many wagon wheels we have stored in our wagon. We have, sp we have spare wagon parts in the wagon for a reason. Uh, let's see here. We need to... Yeah, this dirt track should lead us there. Travel time. We're just going to go south and try to find a town. Oh, we just did. Yes. I knew that uh, it's the Beaver and Sword Hostel is where we are right now. That's the Queen's Hedgehog. I don't think so. We've played Sonic 06 already. We know about that. Uh, the Beaver and Sword's over here. Yes. Ahem. <clears throat> What's it called? Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see the thing in my bobber there. It was. Uh, yes, it was. Um, okay, I found it. Grabbing the actual uh, meme there. So, um. Did I get the pink Google? No, no. I, I got sidetracked with Helldivers. It's going to be a couple days before I'm ready to play Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. Alright, let me see here. Yeah. So, uh, remember when Sonic the Hedgehog tried to do Final Fantasy? Because cause they did that. They, 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 they tried to do the Final Fantasy. Wait, remember that? There you go. See? Definitely uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. So, yes. That, that was something that happened. Yep. But uh, if you look over there... Oh, hold on a second. Let me, let me pull that up, uh, the specific part. Uh, this is where everything kind of goes sideways, where it's like, wait a second. Um, yeah, there you go. He's carrying the princess. Through stages, yes. And, uh... Here, hold on. Let, let, me, let, me pull, let me pull this up just so you know. See, see what I mean? They, they, they did that. They knew what they were doing. <clears throat> That's all I have to say. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog kisses the human princess. It's true. 
Hello there. Uh, room for the night. 11 gold. This is a terrible inn. Yes. Mm hmm. Sonic 06 is widely considered to be the worst Sonic the Hedgehog game ever made. And I can. You, you can probably figure out why. Actually, no, it has nothing to do with that. Yeah. It has everything to do with the. Um, um, what, what you might call it? Uh, the game mechanics being terrible. Yeah. Sonic's romance with the human princess is actually a uh, um, a footnote in what is just a really, really poorly designed video game. All right, we're going to grab some spruce tea. Leftovers, we're going. We're traveling. What did you name your horse in Daggerfall? I named mine WinRAR. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Now that we've rested, we can head over to Castle King House. Princess Sally was uh, the, the, what do you call it, the romantic interest of Sonic the Hedgehog in the comics. I did a, a video on Sonic Forces. I enjoyed it very much, and it pissed off fans. Yes. Do, 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 do. Okay. You didn't click live? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Castle King House. Here we are. Okay, so first of all, Dungon 1. Yes. Hello, friend. Welcome to Castle King House. This keeps us under the control of Daggerfall. You are welcome to pass through here. Oh, jeez. Whole group of people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Castle King House isn't a problem right now. We should probably head over to the Kingdom of Daggerfall and see if they have anything for us. So let's uh, head on over um, to these crossroads here. It's going to take about an hour and a half to get over there. Yes. No problem. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, animal tracks are going to hunt. Uh, yes, actually. Uh, you find trace of rabbits in the area. After some time, you kill the rabbit with a single strike. Raw meat. Oh, boy. That's what we did. We hunted a rabbit. Sonic Underground. Sonic Underground was terrible, and uh, it referenced the other show. that, uh, But is completely different. Um... No, there there were two Saturday morning cartoon shows uh, for Sonic. One was a uh, a serious uh, kind of dramatic show. The other was a comedy, and uh, the comedy was the one um, with uh, snooping as usual. I say. Oh, the moon is passing over the sun. We almost have a solar eclipse there. L lunar eclipse, lunar eclipse. Just, just, just give me a sec. Um, we need to go southeast. Yes. Yes, I've seen all kinds of YouTube poops of the uh, uh, of the Sonic says segments at the end of the comedy show. 
Um, it's smart to climb in a dryer. You're really comfortable. You know, things like that. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Block of bats. Bats! Damn. The cat has decided he needs to leave. You need to leave right now. South, yes. Very good, very good. Is Mario a character? In the same way Mickey Mouse is a character. Yes. It's very interesting, though, seeing uh, Mickey Mouse as um, the whatchamacallit. Um, I don't remember the name of it now. Uh, not not it's Steamboat Willie, but also uh, the Gallop and Gone Show, I think that yeah that one it was the Ga Gallop and Gone Show. Uh, that's uh, public domain now, and uh, if we pull up, it's a, like a six minute cartoon, but uh, it's yeah it's in the public domain, and you can see uh, the, here we go. Here's the here's uh Mickey Mouse and Minnie in the Galloping Gone Show. There you go. As you can see, perfectly normal content. Absolutely normal. There there you go. Yes. This is this is uh this is the content they did not want you to see on YouTube. Okay? This is this is not the content they wanted you to see. Yes. There there you go. <clears throat> Yep. <clears throat> hey, you're looking. Stop it. Yep. Yep. Um. <clears throat> okay. There's a book chained to the wall. Uh. Let's see. Mysticism. No, I'm not. I'm not training mysticism here for 300 gold. Not happening. Okay. I need to help out a cat. The cat is confused. He doesn't know what to do. We've escorted the cat to the surface world. He is safe now. Yes. Okay. Let me see here. Where are we going? S Superior used merchandise. Sounds like a great store to me. Let's go visit it. We gotta keep uh, everything set. We're gonna go uh, back to that dungeon soon. Oh, it is superior used merchandise. Let's go uh, do some massive selling then. Figure out what this guy has. He has fish. I'll buy it. Yep. Cool. We can just travel as is. He's got some books I don't care about. They're generic. Like polytomes and stuff. I was hoping to find a skill book. Can't always find... Oh, epoxy. Yes. I'll take it. We can repair our staff with that. Very good. <clears throat> Expect an early winter with lots of snow. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, next we're going to go sell. And I'm going to switch over to the wagon. I'm going to see about selling 
everything except like adamantium and above. I'm gonna be careful about that. Selling, selling, selling. Okay. He's gonna give me less than half of what I ask for, probably. Epoxy does not repair plate armor. You need an armor or hammer for that. Yes. Armor's hammer. The epoxy's for the uh, the staff, specifically. There are other materials too, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that. All right, let's see. Uh, almost everything. We're 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 good. We're we're almost there. Uh, not not quite yet. Very close now. Yeah, I'm looking at how much money he has versus what he's offering. That's all he has. He can't afford anymore, so we're going to take a few things from him. No, not yet. That's good. Bam. We are paid in a letter of credit. That's right. Damn right we are. We're going to take that to the bank. Hell yeah. Okay, what else we got? Um, we don't need any more camping equipment. Not yet, anyway. Our, uh, we still have two pieces of camping equipment to go. Um, I suppose we should go check out some other stores. <laughs> what do you mean he can't just hand me 40,000 coins all at once? He has to pay me in credit. It's fine. The, the bank will honor it. But, uh, yeah. What do you mean you got a wagon load full of gear? <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, uh, thankfully the bank will handle it. And if he can't pay, then, you know, they send collectors after him and take his store. Did you know his store is worth, um... Like, the, the real estate there is worth about a million gold? Serious business. The King's Elixis. Let's go see about potions. Potions, I say. Cure disease potion. I'll take it. Damn right. What's next? Uh, free action potion. Can definitely use one of those. I'll take it. Anything else? I don't think there's any other stores here. Or sorry, any other... Sh uh, oh, never mind. There's a supply shelf right over there. Okay. Uh, heal true potions. Yes. That's fine. Let's see if uh, his upstairs has... Wait, hold on. Let's check this, this room. Nothing. We're, we're checking for back stock. And we're, we're purchasing it. Hey, you got this upstairs. Like, why are you and I upstairs? I don't know about that. Epoxy glue. Yes. Perfect. And that's it. We're done. We we purchased all his items. Thank you, uh, Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat uh, One. Not not the later ones. Just just the first one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see that. Uh, what's next? You take a loan uh, on that letter letter of credit. What? Uh, I don't know about that. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is one of those uh, not real shops. This shop is a lie. Okay, go down here. Do, 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 do. Your sale is mine. You will be next. Yes. Du, 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 du. Yes. Use supplies. Yeah, the bank doesn't actually have um, enough assets to uh, be able to deal with a run on the bank. They're, they're too busy loaning out your money. 
what are these slips of paper even worth? Uh-oh. Use supplies. As long as you have enough capital. Whetstone repairs uh, bladed weapons. We already got enough of... Uh, we'll buy another epoxy glue, just in case. Yes. We're gonna buy a sewing kit as well. You can take out a loan in Daggerfall, and then you can skip town. Yeah. You can, you can just straight up skip town, and... Um, they don't really have any way of dealing with that other than to set your regional reputation to minimum. Which means that uh, no one will deal with you and... Um, yeah. Th th that's it. They Obviously, I'm playing with mods, so they will send like tax collectors after me. Uh, is that for each town or each province? Each, each region. So, uh, if we go over here... Uh, let me go outside. I'm going to sell my uh, broken camping kit. I picked up a new one. Hello, sir. I'd like to sell you my uh, gar... Oh, I can sell you my extra fish. Is it, is it, oh, we're going to sell him all the putrid meat. It's going to be great. This is going to happen. Uh, rage, you mean like hold? Oh, no. This isn't Skyrim. Heaven forbid. Uh, let's see... Yes, there there is uh, civil war going on. This is the worn equipment. Good. Uh, let's access our wagon and uh, start going down this list. We're getting rid of the vest. I'm never going to use it. Guaranteed never to use. Uh, getting rid of that one. Just uh, going down and getting rid of things that I probably will never use. What else? Get rid of this, uh, I don't know, we'll hold on to that one for now, but, um, uh, yeah, I don't particularly like that style of loincloth, so I'm getting rid of those as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Won't you get arrested on site for criminal conspiracy? Couldn't say. That's a very good question. I'm not sure about your legal reputation versus your normal reputation. It's something to think about. Okay, here we go. Now we're selling the books in fish. That's what I'm talking about. All the fish, all the rotten meat and rotten foods must be sold for fertilizer. That's what we're doing. Okay. Just do real Baron Zaya. Extra painting. Garnet. Scarab. Browns for days. All that stinky meat must go. All the scrap must go. Oh god, ebony and elven scrap is worth a decent amount. I didn't realize all that junk would actually uh, amount to something. Yeah, we got a fair amount of ration packs. That's cool. Get out of there, holy candle. Short skirt. Yes, the animal god. A lot of crowns and other jewelry we managed to pick up. I'm pretty happy about that. More rations, of course. Putrid mate. Mm -hmm. We are going to join the Temple of Debella when we reach Meneva, probably. All right. 700 and... Uh, uh, sorry, sorry 7,210 uh, for all the junk. I got rid of uh, most of the junk already. Trash. Just total garbage. Looks like I didn't sell all of it. Oh, well. I skipped past some of it by accident. No big deal. That should do it, more or less. I think we are good to go. At least I would be, but I went by a fish again. Okay, we're set. Perfect. Yep, random shop has enough gold to uh, buy a small house. Uh, let me see. No. Not even. Not even. You're looking at, like... Uh, here, hold on. Let's see if there's a bank in town. I don't think... No, there's no bank in town. 
we'll have to go somewhere else to deal with that. Do you think you'll see Nazim in Elder Scrolls 6? I doubt it. They almost never use the same, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the same characters. Nazim isn't a vampire after all. It'd be very annoying if they just make it all referential. Oh, cool. We found a rusty relic store. Is there anything else we can sell him that we want to sell? Probably not. Yeah, this guy only has 4,000 gold on hand at all. He's awful. Just awful. Uh, keep the guild hall locations. So, yeah. Okay. Get the red year treatment. Oh, God. Someone references... Uh, how Nazim became a great uh, trade lord and then was uh, promptly... Or worse, they have the Nazim Bank or so, some kind of Nazim... Uh, uh, Nazim-based uh, franchise. No, no, he'll, he'll get the... Uh, the Mayrune's Razor treatment where it goes, We had the world in the palm of our hands, but look at us now. We, I have this small museum in my house. Pretty terrible. Our world announced a raid boss. Yes, looked pretty cute. I'm uh, right now more concerned with um, what do you call it? Um, uh, Hell Divas and uh, Final Fantasy XIV's cross region shit is starting. Mike, here's what's happening. Players are going to be able to travel to the Oceanus and a server, right? Cross region. In other words, like Japanese, people from the United States, and Europe can all go to Oceania. And there, we will be able to uh, lag together. We lag together! Okay, let's get going. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, hold on a second. Uh, we need to eat something. Give me the... Guys, I don't have any fish. I thought I had a single fish. Turns out I do not. Oh, well, let's go. Onwards to Fontwold. I don't recognize Fontwold. Apparently, there's a warehouse here. Mm hmm. LPBs and HPBs? Yes. Low ping bastards and high ping bastards. It's true. Okay. But at least this means that they are honestly planning on executing cross-region play. That's something that uh, I've been waiting for. They they said they didn't they weren't sure about it because of um, what do you call it? They they weren't sure because of uh, like cultural differences and shit. But it looks like they're deciding to bite the bullet and actually let people do cross-region play, which means that you know like. I can actually play with the people in Europe now without having to abandon my, uh, my ferry server. I think that's pretty important. Okay. Checking this store next. Hmm. I guess we should buy some oil. No problem. I don't see anything else here. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Tights, of course. We'll buy a pair of these for later. We're not going to wear them at the moment, though. Just uh, Oh, uh, jeweler's priors, sugar lumps. Unfortunate, not what I was looking for. Well, there we go. Mm-hmm. What kind of cross-cultural issues can you see? Uh, 
Jap uh, Japanese servers place an uh, extreme emphasis on manners. And, uh, you know, like, uh, we, we occasionally... You'll occasionally see references to the concept of um, netiquette in the early internet. Um, some Japanese MMOs take that shit seriously to this day. Whereas, uh, you know, uh, you'll get lulled at if you say, uh, if you tell someone else on the internet to have, uh, you know, to not have bad manners. Okay. There are, as I said, cultural differences. Okay, food. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have some of that Breton pork sausage, you know what I mean? There you go. Yes. Herbal tea. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and figure out where I'm going. Give me a second. Um. Yep. Yeah, if you're a jerk, um, Japanese servers tend to take it way more seriously. Now you want to play on the Japanese server? I mean, yeah. There, there are a lot of people who do, by the way. And uh, they have to make use of the auto-translate feature, but that's a, a whole other issue. Let me uh, see this. I need to figure out a uh, thingamabobber. Daddies and Daedra. That's regional temples. So, Tigonus, Kagoria, Maniva. Hmm. Let me see. I could have sworn. It must, must. I need to find the region of Daggerfall. Kingdom of Daggerfall, Daggerfall, UESP. Yes. Mm hmm. Give me a sec. Okay, now that I see the Daggerfall region, I need uh, to look for a particular temple. Debella. Okay. So, Debella. Bella is in Chesterville. Let's, let's let's find out where Chesterville is. I'm I'm curious about this. Okay, so uh, Chester, mm, Chester Wark, Chester Witch. So I haven't found Chesterville yet. This is gonna be kind of funny. All right. Uh, what about Cromberry Hill? Uh, I found Crom Winch Hill. I have it so that you don't know where towns are unless you've discovered them. So this is kind of funny. Trying to find a specific place. Uh, Gowl Castle? We, ju we just have to travel more. That's the real answer. Uh, uh, hold on. Gal Tail, Bale Castle, not the same. Keep going. From Fort. Cross, uh, cross? Good looking. Cross try, cross cart. There are 13 locations. It looks like Crosswold Barrow, Galliford, Greyway, uh, Grimhead. There's so many towns. Oh, no, it's Greyhead Hill. Different place. Crazy. Uh, Knights Tower Hill. That that might be our place. That that might be our place. That's Knights Town. So I don't know where Knights Tower Hill is. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Tam Winch. Oh, that's really close to uh, to Gothway Garden, where we were operating out of. Fair enough, I guess. 
not quite what I wanted to do so early, but, uh, um, amazing how big a region is. Yes. Regions. They actually have to use arrows over here to kind of look uh, around to the edges of, uh, Wathgarian Mountains. Same thing for the Alakir Desert. If we go down, yeah, I was going to say Alakir Desert and, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Dragon Tail Mountains both require the use of these arrows to, to like, navigate around it. Anyway. Let's see here. Does each country have its own plot line? No. They have some minor differences, and they have regional reputations that uh, come into conflict with each other. So, you know, you, like, if you happen to have, say, a good reputation with Tul Yun, and then you go down to Daggerfall, and the king of Daggerfall has put a bounty on people from Tul Yun, uh, then the guards will come after you. Why? Because uh, th this is illegal, you know. Uh, stuff like that, so... Anyway, we're gonna go, I just, just straight west, I guess. Hadn't thought about it, but, like, we'll, we'll start heading up to, uh, <clears throat> Tam Winch. We want to join the house of Debella. It's gonna be our thing. Our, our religion. But knowing that Tam Winch has a house of Debella is kind of important. So let's, uh, let's consult the journal real quick. The journal. Um, and Sander the notebook. I'm going to delete these uh, discovered maps. No big deal there. More importantly. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to say. Um, House of D. Beller. At... Tam Witch. Yes. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Can you go to all the regions such provinces in the map? Yes. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Bear. We must transform ourselves to fight the bear. Let's go. Yeah, you can travel anywhere. Though the ocean might be a problem. Especially if you're using a survival mod like uh, Climates and Calories. Okay, bear is dead. It's raw meat belongs to me now. Let's get out of here. We're going west. Du, 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 du. Magical girl transformation. That's that's right. Absolutely. Uh, but seriously, we should be fine. Uh, hey, here we go. And jeez, uh, those yes with the shoes. Very important. Mhm. Mm We've already been through here, so let's keep going. Yes. Goddess of beauty and preservation of the arts. Very important. Okay. Is this the GOG version of Daggerfall? No. I recommend the GOG cut to nobody. It is massively outdated. You should download uh, Daggerfall from uh, unofficial Elder Scrolls pages, which is not a store at all. And then um, afterward, um, download Daggerfall Unity manually. Let me see here. Okay, there we go. Oh. But yeah, you'll find that on a lot of mod pages, they will straight up tell you the GOG cut is uh, outdated and full of bugs. Okay. 
It would be interesting to see someone design a bunch of Morrowind prefabs for Daggerfall. That would be pretty cool. They would still be prefabs. They wouldn't be handcrafted content. You know, like in, in the sense that every part is unique. But it would be interesting to see, you know, go over to Morrowind and have uh, regions like this, but with Ashlands and, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, the yurts and instead of uh, other stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go up this way. What's the difference between the Steam and USB downloads? None, except um, you have to have Steam open to run Daggerfall from Steam, as I understand it. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you uh, install Daggerfall Unity afterward and use that instead. But, uh, you know, Steam is Steam, and... Typically, that's uh, anything with digital rights management baked into it is the last um, the last solution you want to use. All right, let's see here. At the end of the day, you said uh, you only tried GOG because it was easy to install. Yes. It's just a shame that the mods are extremely outdated. Yes, the cold air numbs your skin. I mean, it's like saying Konami is Konami. I think we all know what to expect at this point. Okie dokie. Shika, thank you uh, for the uh, bits. I appreciate that. Vintage wares. Here we go. Ah, this. Yeah, this store is completely wrecked. I'm just gonna sell him the meat. Like, the, seriously, the, all the meat we just picked up. I'm just gonna sell him that. Yeah. Bam. Easy peasy. I'm gonna buy some oil here. Bandages. We're gonna grab some more oil, put it in the wagon. Hell yeah. Let's uh, check upstairs. Make sure everything is there. Shouldn't be a problem. Oof, hold on. I accidentally picked up something. Um, No, we don't need any more oil. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, about the, the, the quote-unquote GOG cut for Daggerfall Unity. It's, uh, it's pretty awful. But you can download the, uh, the regular version of Daggerfall on GOG and then use that. It's just a lot of people are going to get directed there. Yes. Well, the interesting thing is that, uh, uh Valve is a flat company. They don't actually have uh, shareholders outside of their um, uh, their their operating officers. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, formal brazier. Mm, nice green there, but I don't think so. I want to change things up a bit anyway. Green skirt might be nice. Not quite how I expected, but. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That that might work. We'll pick this one up. Hell yeah. Okay, fair enough. We're going uh, green for now, just for now. Um, what do we got in terms of green cloaks? I got lots to sell, but I'd like to see a collection of cloaks. Let's see here. Not there quite yet. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. We got two green formal cloaks. Perfect. That is exactly it. Okay. What else? Uh, finest armory. Odd herbs. I can't wait to go to the odd herbs store. What else? Resist this. No one cares. 
Stamina potion. Cure disease. I'll take both. Awesome. That should do it. There's a blacksmith shop. Let's go ahead and sell over here. Mm hmm. Ever had a random arrest for criminal conspiracy? When you commit crimes, your regional reputation tanks. If you notice here, uh, it says that I am dependable, right? In the eyes of the law. Dependable. That means my. My legal reputation is positive, okay? If by chance you were to commit crimes, your legal reputation can get to the, into the negatives. If it goes all the way negative for any reason, uh, then guards will start arresting you for criminal conspiracy because you are, uh, because they hate you and they just want to find an excuse to get you either sent to prison or exiled from the province. You've done something to make them hate you. All right. Let's see here. See? Yeah, change region. For the most part, that's what you do. If you uh, end up really screwing your regional reputation, you do that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. It's a witch hunt just because you constantly commit crimes. <laughs> Yes, you're a monster and they hate you. Yep, yep. That's, uh... <laughs> okay, so, there's... There's going to prison, but going to prison doesn't, uh... Doesn't absolve you of your reputation penalty. In other words, if you go to prison multiple times, or you get caught multiple times, they're gonna, they're just gonna hate you for good. Yeah, repercussions of your actions. Oof. Oof. Hello, sir. Uh, my goodness. Uh, unless you're DB fake, in which case you lose rep randomly. Okay, well, there are cases in which, um, like, peasants will just hate you for no reason. That's, that's kind of normal. But, uh, there are other cases where you might talk to a lady... And she will, um, she will claim that you, um, uh, you stole her diamond or emerald or whatever. And that starts off a quest where you have to, um, clear your name. Otherwise, uh, your regional reputation stays at nothing until you, you know, again, clear your name, so... If that happens to you, my usual stance is good luck. Hmm, what did I sell that was expensive? It's not a steel staff. It's an orcish fur helm. That's one of them. Orcish short sword? Sure. Anything else that I may have access? Orcish brigadine. Okay, so it's just the orcish items that are... Steel mace, steel claymore, graves. It's gotta be the dwarven stuff. Yeah. It's got to be the Dwarven stuff. Dwarven and Elven. Okay, fair enough. I just grabbed the Orcish stuff again. This guy has 16,000. I can't sell that much. I, I really can't sell that much. So, uh, let's go ahead and give back things until we have a better idea. Let's see. See, that should do it. Nine thousand there. Okay, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna sell a few more. That's ten thousand. Twelve thousand. Yeah, okay. Thirteen thousand. Still 13,000. Trying to get rid of most of this junk. 14,000. We're almost there. That's almost all their money. That's all their money, meaning that I went over a threshold. Still over that threshold. 
That's better. Bam. Okay, we got money. We're done. There's so much junk laying around. This place is kind of awful. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. The graphics are uh, actually very good for the time. This is the champion's outfits. Different clothing store than the one I uh, saw earlier. Oh, God. This is a low-grade clothing store. Means they have crap. Like, everything they have is terrible. Like, just open blouse. Oh, boy. Thanks. Uh, no one cares. A red cloak is nice, though. I'll take one of those. So we found something. Actually, we found two red cloaks. Cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, let's get going. We're out of here. Mm-hmm. Oh, a, a second clothing store? What the hell? This one's an average clothing store, which means there's a net mesh in what was an open blouse originally. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, don't care about any of that. Uh, but, 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 nice. Red brazier there. Yep. Make Get a red casual cloak. That should be fine. Oh, yeah, that looks uh, better. We're uh, getting different cloaks for different reasons. Should be fine. Our, uh... One more place to check out? Yes. Mm-hmm. Sold 16k of goods and buys uh, clothes at the cheapest place possible, apparently. Yes. Mm-hmm. Elder Scrolls Arena will probably never be added to the Unity engine. There is an open source engine called Test Open Tests uh, Arena. And you can probably get the um what do you call it you can probably just kind of follow that project on github and some year from now it'll get done but uh they're they're making the engine from scratch oh nice purple formal brazier i like that one we'll need a purple skirt oh the the, the game just said uh, hello there have this uh, formal purple skirt. Yes. Okay. We got it. Hell yeah. Let's uh, uh, let's get equipped. Get equipped with. There we go. Cool. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. We're out. We're done with this town. We're gonna get a meal on the way out though. We're going to the Dead Dungeon. What a name for your store, the Dead Dungeon. Yes. Hello, sir. Just just, just give me some uh, Breton pork sausage. Thank you. Yes. Some of it went to waste, but that's fine. Uh, have some herbal tea, and we're out. This way. Onwards and sideways. The cold numbs my bare skin. Uh-oh. There we go. Wonder if, oh, purple cloak. Let's give that a try. Wait, hold on. Get rid of the red cloaks. Hello, purple cloak. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Okay, west we go down the dirt track in just a moment. We save as travel time two. There we go. Time to travel. Oh, oh. Got it. Ah, we're going to steal their crops. Nobody will notice. This is how we get our harvesting skill up. These are alchemy ingredients. You see, my harvesting skill increased to 2%. Now I have a 2... Yeah, see that? That clover times 2 there? No big deal. Don't worry about me. I'm just stealing all your crops. It's okay. 
As long as I have good reputation in the region, they'll let me have it. If my reputation is low, then there are other issues. Okay, nobody needs to worry. You see, we, we, we're, we're, good, we're good. We got all everything we needed. We're going to get on our horse. Actually, we're into the wagon first. And uh, just chartered by the regional monarch. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. That letter can go away. Put that, yeah, you cannot remove that because it's a quest item. Okay, what's next? Put these extra cloaks away. Yep. Eat the bread. Can't eat the bread. Eat the fish. Yeah, what I need to actually do is put these yeah, alchemy ingredients away. Jeez. So many alchemy ingredients, so little time. Why am I still over encumbered? It's because of the oil, isn't it? I've got I've got 71 oil. Ah, ah. Try putting away uh, 56 oil. Thank you. F 15 there. Mm, let's just try uh, putting away 8 and then we got 7 oil. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We'll use a few as well. Cool. So we have 4 bottles of oil for now. And that's all we need at the moment. Uh, the rest of it went away. Ocean of Seeking. How many stamina potions I got? I got 17 stamina potions. Put 10 of those away. Good. Um, yeah, owning a house is where you store stuff. And if you have the decorator mod, then you decorate that house too. Cool, we got another uh, field here. This is perfect. Yellow berries. We're just going to grab all these. No big deal. Our harvesting skill will go up, and that's important. You see, harvesting skill increased to three. That's what I'm talking about. Bit by bit, we will uh, become the sort who can do this. Okay. Isn't it better to own a boat? Yes. Um, unless you're using mods like I am, where you can only access the boat in port towns. See, see the way the number of towns go uh, diminish when you hit ports? And yet, somehow, these are considered ports as well. You can only access your ship in port towns in my version. Oh, boy. In the vanilla game, you can just teleport to your ship anywhere. Yep. Yeah, thankfully, the guards don't seem to care about me uh, purloining random goods. Although, uh, that might change soon. Wigs. <clears throat> yep. Red berries, roses. What do you mean we'll have all the alchemy ingredients in the world in just a second? You love Loon Acid? That's great to hear. I'm happy that you were able to find a good game off my recommendations. Not for everybody, but uh, it's certainly... Um, it's certainly a fun, like, Kingsfield-like, you know, the, the the positives of Kingsfield without the negatives is how I like to phrase it. Oh, wagon wheel. Oh, yeah, grab that. Those are wagon parts. Oh, we uh, dropped the, the wagon parts on the ground. We got to go deal with that. What do you mean you harvested a whole field and now you can't care anymore? Why are you so weak? Why is uh, the lady in the skimpy outfit so weak? It's my fault. I didn't train her strength. <clears throat> okay. Issues. Let's go get those wagon parts. Yes. And then we'll go to the general goods store. I work for Bellathor. What? Uh, no big deal. Hello, Mr. Uh, uh, Donoran Masterson. What do you got for me? Nothing. You got a whole lot of nothing. Just trying to see if there's anything else we want to do here. Yeah, I, I think we've, like, eloquently sold everything we needed to. It just comes down to maybe a few more weapons. He has 4,000 golds, and a single orcish blade is... Warhammer is way too much, so. Steel mace. 
Steel Staff. Silver Elven. Okay, we're at a thousand right now. Let's go ahead and get another, uh, yeah, sell, sell the Dwarven stuff. We can't sell the Orcish Warhammer. It's not going to work. But uh, just that alone, we we're able to get a thousand. So that's good. Slowly, bit by bit, we get rid of stuff. Let's buy some ration packs and put them in our uh, wagon is what I would say. But I don't have any carry capacity right now because of something. Is it the oil? It couldn't be the ration packs. When you're hungry, you'll eat some rations. Damn right you will. Put the eight away. Hmm. Do I really only have eight rations? Apparently so. But no, no. There's got to be something more to it than that. It's the money. Yes. It's the money. No problem. Okay, so we put away... All that money <laughs> that yeah we, we just had way too many coins in our cart that was the issue yeah we, we were suffering from success i was like why can't i carry anymore well you're carrying thousands of gold coins oh and and apparently wagon wheels but that's not that big a deal okay so let's have a look buy some more ration packs hell yeah we have a letter of credit we're selling off of. Somehow they just, like, scratch off uh, something there. Get to the bank. I'm going to have to. My wagon is uh, full of coins. My, I'm able to sell from my letter of credit and just deducts from the letter of credit somehow. It's magical. But, uh, yeah. Uh, or, sorry, buy to it. Yeah, it's... Oh, boy. The Star Wars uh, Battlefront collection is terrible. Yes, but what you should do, because Star Wars Battlefront is actually very good. So my recommendation, uh, if you want to be able to deal with that, uh, what you do is you go to... Um, uh, here, hold on. Let me, let me hit that. Okay, so on GOG... The, the good old games. You can grab uh, Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, here on good old games. And when you do, you will own it uh, like the original version, not the uh, not the busted remaster. And it actually has functional multiplayer. Serious business. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> Now then, let's get going. Mm-hmm. General goods store. We're gonna we're gonna finish shopping. Mm-hmm. So I I'm peeking in. I meant to actually open the door. Not look inside. We need to buy some more bandages. No problem. Damn. I accidentally uh, took off the cloak. Don't want to go outside without a cloak. That would be a problem. There we go. Cool. What's up? Bandages, bandages, bandages. We're doing well. I just need to, you know, in, in the event we are hurt, um, we can... Use these bandages as a quick source of healing using our medical skill. We have trained our medical skill significantly, so that's going to work. Hold on. What, what's this over here? Epoxy glue. I don't care about that. All right. So um, shelf there. More bandages. Yes. We're done. Let me see here. Hmm. Yeah, at present, I don't have a... Um, I haven't used any Elder Scrolls um, uh, pre-made mod lists. All of my mod lists have been uh, self-built. Uh, I expect to be... Uh, oh! We just... Awesome! We just got a red one. Okay. So the red formal brassiere will fit with Daedric gear. 
it, it goes really well with Daedric gear. Like, look at the color of the Daedric set, and look at the formal brassiere here. See what I'm saying? In terms of matching, it's really good. Um, don't really care about it right now, because we don't have any other Daedric pieces at the moment, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. Yep, yep. Fashion Fall is exactly the meme I was going with earlier. I'm going to buy a cooked fish and move on, I think. Yeah, moving on to the next town. Ah, Programmer Socks, of course. This way. Going, uh... West? Yeah, we're going west. Okay. Where the hell is the exit? Wait. Another field? I thought I went through all these fields already. <laughs> Do you have hopes for a new Elder Scrolls after Starfield? So, Starfield, like, it's it's interesting because I watch as everyone kind of collectively woke up due to Baldur's Gate 3 coming out around the same time as Starfield, right? But when Starfield was announced, I, um, I posted this, and it caused people to get upset with me because this this was my opinion on Starfield initially. I ended up enjoying Starfield quite a bit, uh, despite this fact. But um, this is my general attitude towards new video games until I see them in action, right? It's uh, it's a pretty basic philosophy, I know, but uh, it's just the, uh, uh, the price you have to pay after having lived long enough and played enough games, you know? But... Um, what do you call it? Um, I liked uh, Starfield's dungeons quite a bit. I just ran out of content. People are like, well, don't you want to play New Game Plus? No. I already played that stuff. I don't want to play it again. And it's interesting because like, I can replay Daggerfall a hundred times. I can replay uh, Morrowind, you know, uh, Skyrim, Fallout 3, Fallout 4. I can I can replay those games over and over and over. But Starfield was the first game where I finished it, and I'm like, no, I don't want to replay it. I, I had fun, but I'm done, you know? And that is a damning statement for Bethesda to, like, treat it like a normal game, you know? Like, I, I'm done. Check. I'm done with it. Moving on. That Like, I, th think about, all, like, all the other games I've played again and again and again and again and again. But Starfield just like, check. I'm done. You know? That's, uh, that's crazy. Anyway, let me, uh, see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. Todd wants everyone to play Skyrim, you say? I don't think so. I think that Todd is more of a producer, less of a director. I enjoy Skyrim, but I enjoy it with mods like Legacy of the Dragonborn that turn it into a collectathon. I, like I, uh, I've kind of finished playing it in its vanilla state. All right, I've got to go northwest according to the map. So, that's southwest. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Mm -hmm. For the most part, I only play a vanilla Bethesda game once or twice. Yes. Well, hello, hello. Okay. Let's get moving. Onwards and sideways. Well, yeah, so for anyone who missed it, you should definitely pick up Star Wars Battlefront 2 on good old games. It is the original version, and it uh, has multiplayer servers actually working that aren't bad. Yes. I'll go ahead and link the uh, the game, what do you call it, in, uh, in chat here. The remaster is bad. There's no getting around that. Yeah. So don't play it. Okay, we keep finding farm fields around here. It's kind of crazy. 
Hell, here we go. Mm-hmm. Put those away. What else we got? We're just grabbing all the, uh... Our harvesting skill increased to 4%. That's what I'm talking about. High enough harvesting skill and we'll be able to get multiples. And usually sell this. They have classic on Steam. Yeah. Uh, no guarantees it'll stay. That's what I'm saying is, uh... It's usually a, uh... Uh, a, a good thing to grab the ones that work. Yes, they had three servers on launch, but not not. There were many other issues than just three uh, servers on launch. Uh, if we could use the harvesting stat in your own farm, yeah, I, I don't like. I wish you could buy a farm. That would be a nice mechanic. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, they let you harvest in towns. Provided, provided you um, have a regional, a legal reputation uh, of uh, zero, oh, sorry, of uh, zero or above. If you have a negative legal reputation, they won't let you harvest there at all. Not even a bit. Let me see here. Okay. Checking that. Ah, I see. Yeah, let's let's see how much uh, Star Wars Battlefront uh, uh, 2005. Uh, let, let's go. Let's look at. Um, let's look at this. It. Hey, check out how big it is. Six point four gigabytes. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll blow it up for you. Here, hold on. Check this out. Star Wars Battlefront two. Uh, is uh, is six point four gigabytes. Yeah. S serious business. That's, uh... <laughs> Glorious. Mm. But yeah, I highly recommend the uh, the GOG Star Wars Battlefront 2. Because you're going to be able to get the... Um, uh, the legitimate uh, experience. So let, me, let me pull up the... Uh, the horrible thing. Okay, here we go. I found it. I found it. This is, this is gonna be serious business. Ahem. Let me see here. Names like Jack, Charlotte, Muffin, Potato, Monkey can't be used because they're offensive. It crashes when searching for multiplayer games on console. Crashing an offline Galactic Conquest. We're talking about the new one. The, the remaster, right? Here we go. Uh... Missing half of the cutscenes in the campaign. No inverting aim. Aim inversion uh, is enabled by default in flight mode. No way to change it. Xbox version can't have two controllers connected or it disconnects both. Uh, only two-player split screen, not four. Uh, AI won't use vehicles on certain maps. No AI heroes. Um... Uh, Let's see, AT, AT, AT gets stuck uh, on one uh, area. Droidicus can't roll if you change vehicle controls. Um, game can't be registered. That that, that doesn't matter. Uh, no aim assist in multiplayer. Uh, too much aim assist in single player. Bugged hitboxes mean blasters sometimes go right through. Dead zone sticks. Uh, sorry, on uh, yeah, on sticks. They're overly sensitive. Someone said horrific net code, which is funny. Locked to 30 FPS. Uh, that's that's unfortunate for me. Yep, that's unfortunate for me. Uh, no controller remapping. Let's see. D -d 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 -d. Characters have wrong animations. Unplayable online lag. Page two. Uh, there are two versions floating around: the old build and the new build. Got it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Grenades thrown far shorter than compared to the original release. Uh, achievements aren't yet yet on Xbox. Uh, you you can't roll. In Battlefront 1, 
Gunship on Geonosis in Battlefront 1 accelerates rapidly. Audio spiking and then muting. Audio cutting out completely in Hero Assault. Characters sometimes completely invisible. Kill cams not working. Uh, sometimes crashes on PS5. Can't use the name Chosen. Sometimes you can't spawn. Your respawn timer gets stuck at 1 at times. Sometimes there's a 15 second spawn delay on multiplayer. Vehicles not spawning. Battlefront 2 Victory Fanfare is very quiet. The uh, textures were AI upscaled apparently, having, uh, having glitches in their rendering. Invisible barriers on maps that weren't present before. Uh... Let's say, uh, sorry, the add all map button in instant action is missing. Okay. So, when I say you should play the uh, original, which is on sale on GOG, I mean that the remaster is busted and you shouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pull. Okay? Seriously. think there are any mods to make your own kingdom in Daggerfall, you should go ahead and talk to the people on the Lysandus Tomb Discord server. They might consider it. Stretches. Okay. Let me look at something really quick. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Right. Okay, so hold on a second. Uh, someone in chat was apparently saying, uh, let, let me pull this up. Um, they were looking at, um, at Alucard there, and they were thinking, I'm interested in this. There you go. Okay, let's get going. So, uh, I think we got all the leaves, but let's check around just in case. Hold on. <clears throat> this what oh there's flowers over there's another field over here okay geez there's like three fields this is crazy these aren't as dense as the others makes sense in winter you can't harvest at all so you start the game in winter and go like oh I can't do anything which makes sense get our harvest skill up that's cool. We finished a dungeon and everything. Got a bunch of loot. Ended up selling it, making a whole ton of money. It was good stuff. Let's have a look. Oh, God, there's just more fields here. The game just says, get your harvesting skill up, you bum. Okay. We'll do it. Anyway, hello, hello. Yeah, I, uh... Didn't sleep last night, so it's uh, definitely a fun little experience here. What with the video game? Let me see here. We're almost done. So close to being finished. Root bulbs. The harvesting season is here, yes. If we need the alchemy ingredients, we'll be able to do alchemy for sure. Mm hmm The stuff of legends, yes. We're, um... We're so... We're pretty close to, um... Hitting the point in Baldur's Gate where we actually have to go and continue the main quest. Like, I spent a lot of time out in the open world. And it was pretty fancy. This is what happened to all the crops in the future games? Yes. This... The... The agent of the blades went and stole all of them in every possible timeline. It's true. Good. Let's see here. Buy a cooked fish, you bet. Mm hmm. We're out. We're leaving. We're done. What time is it anyway? It's getting late, but it's not that late, so we can keep going. Mm-hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, what I meant is I... Oh, cool. Our harvesting's at 5% now. 
Um, what I was saying was I'm almost ready to continue the main quest. Which is a big deal. Yeah, we're done. We've harvested everything. Mm -hmm. Onwards and sideways. Yes. Absolutely. We're going west. I'm gonna make a save first. It's travel time. Okay. The wagon wheel makes a creaking sound every time it takes some like durability damage and it won't actually break until it runs out. It just did. There we go. We're stealing from all the farms, obviously. You see, we're actually well loved here. We are dependable in the eyes of Daggerfall. We've, we've been doing good stuff. We, we, we're, a, we're a goody good, as that uh, guy from Baldur's Gate said. I hate goody goods. I have no idea. Okay, so we're going to use uh, yeah, the road over here. Cool, we're going to go up. Wait, hook up the wagon again. My bad. Paper doll? I don't know anything about a paper doll. Uh, by chance, were you looking for something more along the lines of, uh, of, of that? Is that what you were looking for? Because we've got that. We also have, uh, what do you call it, uh, good, good old-fashioned programmer socks. There are, there are many, many different uh, shenanigans if you're looking for them. But no, we're, we're, we're basically going with EverQuest Sorceress uh, as our uh, primary inspiration right now. But uh, as you can see, we've got... Uh, we got different factions, such as the Red Lantern here. We got, you know, perfectly normal rank there. Uh, our, uh, affiliations that, you know, you would expect from a, a perfectly normal and not degenerate fantasy game. There you go. Yep. Okay. Let me uh, see here. No problems. Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Red Lantern is a group of spies in uh, near do wells that also technically uh, has a legitimate service. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Epoxy glue. Orcish staff repair that thing. We're going to move on now. Uh, we need to fix the wagon wheel. Fix the wagon wheel. We did it. It's dark now. But the wagon is fixed. I can't see anything. Yes, it's a prostitute guild overhaul. Correct. It, uh... It makes it into a uh, guild of uh, spies, basically. Okay, stamina. It's getting dark. We need to put our cloaks on. The, the, the two heavy cloaks. Do I have those? Yes, I do. Cool. Well, if we put the lantern on, it'll uh, burn. Uh, what do you call it? Run out of oil pretty quick. I'm gonna say burnout. Burnout is a thing, yeah. Oh, stomach rumbles. Eat more food. Eat this fish. Go. Is there a main quest to follow? Yes. I'm on a mission from the emperor to investigate the spirit of King Lysandus. His spirit has been haunting the city of Daggerfall. We have uh, been charged with laying his ghost to rest. There's also the matter of a uh, a, a letter he sent to uh, the le uh, Queen of Daggerfall. And I should destroy that letter. He'd be appreciative. So, uh, and then stuff happened. Yep, yep. There is not a time limit on the main quest. There is only a time limit on side quests. There are time limits 
on parts of the main quest, noting that the main quest itself um, can be completed in alternate ways if you were to fail it. Um, but yeah, there's there are ways to screw yourself out of a reasonable, logical main quest uh, if you don't do certain things. There are also consequences in the main quest for taking too long for certain things. For example, if you, like, you may be sent to go get a book, and if you were to, um, um, if you were to, you know, like, take too long in getting that book, it gets relocated to a different area that's much harder because you took too long. Stuff like that, but... That happens when you uh, pick up those individual parts of the main quest. It's not like it's not a counter from the beginning of the game or anything. Yeah. As long as you uh, don't start the main quest, uh, you can just ignore it. So it's interesting. Like there is a part of the main quest which is kind of given to you by the uh, leader of the blades, and you are, you're given a limited amount of time to start the quest with her. But if you ignore it, she'll just be like, I'll get you thrown out of the service for this, at which point uh, individuals will begin contacting you later regarding the main quest, and you can still kind of wiggle your way back into it, even if the Blades don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, there there are contingencies for, for like, pissing off the leader of the Blades. And not listening to her. This is the Laughing Fairy. I'm gonna go into the Laughing Fairy. Cool Spring Night. Hello, sir. I'm gonna use, uh... Yeah, if we talk to this nice lady here, we're gonna tell her politely. We're gonna ask her, uh, what do you call it? Any news? Uh, the king cleared those rats out of Rayford. Okay, cool. Yes. There are other parts of the main quest that you can absolutely screw over completely to an unfixable state, but, uh, you know, you just make multiple saves and stuff and otherwise uh, kind of understand what you're doing. Like, um, maybe don't open the prince's letter when he tells you not to read it. J j just saying. Like, you know... Doing what you're told not to um, can absolutely, like, screw you out of, like, side objectives and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead. Hello, sir. Room for the night? Yes. It's a shame the room isn't free for a knight such as me. Is what it is. Okay, let's cast some magic. I'm gonna cast a light spell. Yes, I've said this earlier. The tech wasn't there to support their ambitions, but they had some really good ambitions for this game. All right, we don't want vernacular lore classes. We actually want a yeah history of locksmithing is good, but I want another book as well. Uh, Manners and polite society. Yes, lock picking. Okay, we've spent our time studying. Stifle a yawn. Uh, we'll rest for three hours here. Oh, it's raining. Lock picking and mercantile went up. Let's uh, put those books away. Let me see here. We're gonna grab a couple other books. Get some other training. Actually, you know what? Um, yeah, not the vernacular of the lower classes, but... Uh, I never use ships. What do you mean, use ships? You mean airships? Airships, uh, the airship mod was busted for a while. It only got fixed recently, and I typically don't add mods mid-playthrough. Uh, let's see. Guide to Physical Improvement, and let's find one more book. Okay. Yeah, the airship mod was broken until uh, recently. Gonna use a Tome of Arcane Knowledge. Fuck it. Tome of Arcane Knowledge. Yes. 
And guide to physical improvement. Jumping, swimming, and climbing. I guess I have enough time to train in one more thing. Let's keep it up. Mm, nah. Now nah, we'll just we'll just nap. It's 2 a.m. Cool. Jumping and mysticism. That's what I'm talking about. Do you have to have a membership in the guild to sleep there? Or is there a reason you prefer taverns? The Fighter's Guild is kind of, um... Kind of, um... A little, um... Annoying when it comes to being able to sleep whenever you want. Like, you can't enter the, uh... You can't enter the Fighter's Guild anytime you want at low ranks. They give you the key to the place at a higher rank, and you can just go in anytime you want. But, like, it's always annoying to me. And so I just tend to prefer inns. Plus, you can uh, get a good meal at these inns if you look here. It says I need more rest. We'll take, we'll take a... Nah, I don't think so. But we'll just, uh... Give me a royal breakfast plate and some uh, tea. Mint tea, yes. And we're good to go. We're going travel time too. We're going to head on out. Before we go out, out though, we need to put on our hood so we stop. We don't get rained on. Actually, we need to unequip both and make sure that they're set. Yeah, equip the hood. That one, uh, the other one. This one first, then that one. Good. We won't get rained on now. Hello there, Miss Yoming. How you doing? Good day, current events. Uh, any news? Uh, Andre uh, Wooding is the new Lord of Galverton. Okay, go good to know. Good to know. Let's get out of here. You're undependable in... Uh, 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 in the eyes of Daggerfall. Yeah, that happens. All kinds of stuff happens under the hood. Like, a faction that you uh, might get in good with might hate, uh, might get into, like, a problem with Daggerfall. Like, if you ask one of the peasants, they'll say, oh, there was an incident at the palace, and the Fighters Guild pissed off the king, right? And so, all of a sudden, because you, you're in, you're in really good with the Fighters Guild, uh, factions you aren't in, in, uh, in good with might uh, like you more or less as a result based on those different events that happen in the background. You can't go and see those events happen in real time. They're all part of a simulation. That just kind of uh, happens in the background. Basically, the Iliac Bay has a, a gauntlet of political events that occur uh, despite you, and you are at their whim. Yes. Temporary buffs or debuffs to your disposition, uh, to their disposition toward you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, we're going over the next field. So many people over here. Okay. Basically, real life. Kind of. Um... A, uh, a very simplistic extrapolation of real life, yes. Real life is a lot more complicated. But, uh, yeah. Have I run into any occupied forts? Um, a bunch of orcs were occupying one fort, and we killed them. And we got, um, orcish greaves. And I think, like, Orcish Boots and uh, or Orcish Pauldron and Orcish Chest Piece. We replaced it with Adamantium, I think. Maybe it was the other way around. No, no, no. It was uh, it was Orcish Boots and uh, Orcish uh, Helmet there, yeah. Yep. Missed last Marwin stream? Eh, it happens. I, uh, I didn't stream as long as I wanted to. I'm actually... Um, not sleeping incredibly well. Yep. Okay. We're traveling. Yes, the, the uh, other character I played, 
Uh, Sassy refused to wear orcish armor. She had it as forbidden. Forbidden orcish armor. Yeah, it's, um... The lack of sleep is due to, um... My fault. Not, uh, not some kind of, uh, thing outside my control. But rather, uh... Poor planning and, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, inspiration for certain things hitting at the wrong time. So instead of, uh... You, and, you know, instead of going to sleep at, you know, maybe 2 in the morning, I go to sleep at 5 in the morning. You know. Time passes. It's mostly just poor planning. Yes. That, that That's about it. Yep, yep. Whisper in shadow. Yeah, whispers in shadow killed entire forts with his dagger. It's true. Absolutely true. We're going to be spamming fireballs on those guys with this character. Thank you very much. Mm hmm. Do, do I take legalized forms of speed? Um, no, not, not presently. Okay. Do, 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 do. I like how uh, I'm just stealing from the garden now. Yes. <laughs> or planning didn't sleep. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Harvesting skill up to 7%. Well, at least we're getting our harvesting skill up. People are like, where did all the berries go? Where did all the berry bushes and flowers go? Crazy. We're up to 7% harvesting skill already. Mm hmm. What? Is this the house of, uh,. This is the house of Debella. We we've been harvesting all the crops from the house of Debella, which means we found a location. Hmm. Okay, where are we exactly? We are in uh, Cromberry Hill. So we we should mark Cromberry Hill as a house of Debella location. All right. House of D. Bell er yes. Exactly. Pullovers for days. Eight percent harvesting skill. That's impressive. As long as our regional reputation is high enough, no one will complain that we're taking the flowers. It's obviously for a good purpose. Sits in my wagon for a year while I prepare to do alchemy. Unfortunate but true. Okay. Alchemy and or selling. Yes. Alchemy and or vendoring. Okay. Just uh, getting your skill up? Yes. Getting your skill up is absolutely a valid uh, reason to do it. Okay, so we're hanging out in this town for a while, I think. Here we go. Wait. Uh, open your heart to the noble secrets of art and love. Treasure the gifts of friendship. Do you treasure the gifts of friendship? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, it is the house of Debella. I... I Oh, wait, what? What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks like uh, finding my religion in the house uh, mod, uh, uh, the, yeah, the, the other mod conflicted there. 
Uh, that, that's crazy. I mean, I can just no clip through it, but uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, this is uh, this is uh, fixed. He said, "Can you get laid in this game?" That's the whole point of the Red Lantern. Uh, yeah. This place is busted. Hello there. Yes, you are worthy to join the temple. Debella will embrace you as a member. Are you interested in joining? Yes. Uh, welcome then, child. You may consider yourself a novice for now. So yeah, finding my religion and the city mod is conflicting, apparently. Tell, uh, is it Ralzar? I don't remember who freaking is responsible for any of this. Doesn't matter. Uh, uh <clears throat> all right. Yeah, so, uh, that's it. Hello there, Mr. Buckingcroft. They can cure your diseases and you can leave the guild here. Uh, this, this lady is, uh, very happy. You can tell she's happy. Mm-hmm. I like how busted this area is. It's really funny. Hello there. Make a donation. Yes. Uh, you'll, you'll get a weight in and uh, <laughs> cliff worms on it. Yeah, I think it's the, like, the Better Cities coupled with the Windows mod and the, uh, Finding My Religion mod. Like, all, all together. Um, like, I, th I think it's a combination of all three mods causing uh, a big ol' conflict. I can just TCL through it, so I don't care. As long as I don't have to fight inside the Temple of Debella, it won't be a problem. I will, however, make a donation of a thousand gold. Yes, Goddess Debella, uh, uh, yeah, accept all donations. Uh, but do not expect mirrors to take more than a pile of gold. Yes, I know. I know it does. But, um, I got a, you see, I got six reputation with the House of Debella. That's what I'm talking about. Already, damn right. Yeah. This is, uh, getting good. Mm, have you had other instances of buildings from the exterior terrain? It's, uh... Or is that only happening in winter? It's it's the Better Cities mod coupled with uh, the coupled with the um, the Windows mod. That's what's causing it. It's that if you give them a million gold, will they immediately love you? No, you get like one reputation point. So we already had five reputation points in Debella for some reason. Debella just likes us because we I don't know maybe Red Lantern Association something doesn't matter. Point is, Debella De uh, liked this already, and we just got an additional reputation point on top of that. My favorite uh, is uh, joining the Mages Guild, and they say, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, they say that um, promotions don't occur by magic. And I find that amusing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now then. Oh, yeah, character creation. I picked Debella as my favorite god. You, goddess, you're right, you're right, you're right. I did that. I did that. Yes. Hmm. Training. Looks like I can get uh, some nymphish restoration. Uh, oh, they trained me in lock picking. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Get, give me some lock picking training. Hell yeah. That's what I mean. I mean, uh, yeah. Miss Coppering. Miss. Bu I'm down. Uh, I've got a lead on a house in town. Got to give us some big money overnight. No. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, hello, Miss. Yeah, she does have a tail. You're right. Yes. Nymphs are enemies that try to kill you, so, you know. Tis what it is. Looks like we should get a quest and regret all our decisions. Uh, no, we're not picking up a quest today. We'll save this for another day. Yeah. We'll save this for another day. Where's my horse? It's, it got put back. Like it's, it's over here, right? Pretty sure my uh, ho horsey buggy wagon should be over here. Mm, where is the entrance? Oh, there's more fields and stuff. That's great. But where's my horse? It's going to drive me crazy. Okay. 
That lady was uh, wanting to, like, me to break into a house and steal some stuff. She, uh, the, the lady wanted me to co commit theft. I should have reported her. But I said no. You can't report her, by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seriously, though. We have to figure out where the horse went. There it is. No. No. Not back here. I think I dropped off, like, right around this location, too. It's gonna be nuts. I need a mod to track my horse's location at all times. That would be lovely. The birds don't fly away. Uh, there it is. Hooray! It's because there's all kinds of, uh crops to harvest here in this town. So we're going to be hanging out in this town all day, harvesting crops. Then we're going to repair our items. Uh, it's good, probably going to take another day or two. And then after that, we'll uh, get pick up a quest from Debella and try to get some uh, reputation up in Debella. That's my goal. And I also want to buy a house in a particular area, but I don't know where it is. I could use some help finding that. The issue with horse rescue is that uh, the wagon won't come along. The uh, There's a current conflict with a uh, particular other thing I have. Horse rescue will leave the wagon behind, even though it's not supposed to. Okay. We got everything there. What was I doing? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, jeez, I do not need moldy bread. Get the hell out of my inventory. I was looking at that whole situation thinking that was very silly. Oh, wagon rescue is real. Let's give that a try. Hold on. If that works, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to abuse those commands, lol. Uh, so, we're gonna save here. Okay, we're saving, and I'm gonna try it. Uh. Okay, we can fix that. Yeah, yeah, we, we can, uh, this, we can now teleport then, since the wagon, the wagon doesn't teleport with our horse, unfortunately, due to a glitch, but we don't care about that anymore, because we can just wagon rescue. Thank you uh, for the advice. I appreciate it. I'll be back in about five, ten minutes, everybody. I've been streaming for, you know, about four and a half hours. I need to get up, stretch my legs, you know, do a couple things. So uh, we're going to continue this in five to ten minutes. We're going to pick up a Debella quest as soon as we're done with all the logistics in this town. And we're going to get our Debella reputation up. That's going to be our goal for the day. See y'all in a few minutes. Do 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 do.
You know, it'd be cool to have like a Stardew Valley style Daggerfall game. That's like first person. But it's, you know, obviously Stardew. That'd be awesome. Let me uh, hit buttons here. There we go. And I managed to, I don't know, crash the game somehow. When I came back, I alt-tabbed into the game. And it's gone. So, let's see. Where did we save it? Oh, well. Here's what it is. Let me see what we got. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Oversized world to play in, yes, exactly. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. Is it back already? Yeah, um, I was, we would call it, I knew the wife was going to get uh, Panda Express, and I, um, what do you call it, um, I was, um, I was hoping she was back, but, you know. Isn't that just Kenshi? Kenshi isn't first person. Plus, Kenshi's very insistent that you uh, play by its rules. Mm-hmm. Are there any mods? Ha, 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 exclamation point mod list is the command you should be using. Click the link. It's the top article on the page. The answer is many. All right, let's get in our wagon here. Uh, we we found a town with the house of Debella, so we're gonna be sticking around this town for a little while. Mm-hmm. Yes. Going to the vintage market before we do anything else. Yes. Bandages are good. You cannot take any more stuff. Well, it explain. Oh, jeez. We had more stuff than uh, we can actually carry. That's fixed. Okay. Everything's in the wagon. Buy me some bandages. You bet. Get some more epoxy. Sewing kit. Yep. Get an extra skillet. Actually, we have an extra skillet. We don't need a, a second skillet. Gonna buy some extra rations for later. Hopefully we don't need that many ration packs. We should be a okay. <clears throat> yeah, by the time people watch this later, it won't be the top article anymore. Well, oh well. Tis what it is. Let's see. We should go get an in room. Technically, we can sleep in the house of Debella, I think, but, uh,. You know, we couldn't eat there. Mm-hmm. Daedric nails for carpentry? That'd be terrible. Daedric gear is cursed and will eventually mess with your mind. The protagonists of the Elder Scrolls series are able to uh, ignore that fact because they're the protagonists. They get protagonist privilege. But uh, Daedric stuff um, screws with mortals. Alright. Hello, sir. Room for the night. 11 gold pieces, sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll, have a, we'll have the mystery sausage later. That sounds delicious. But for now, let's go ahead and... Um, my goodness. We'll have a new video post up soon. I have a new video post up uh, the day before yesterday. I posted a video the day before yesterday. 700 people watched it, lol. Okie dokie. What are we doing here? So. Um. Hmm. We're gonna go with the Tome of Arcane Knowledge. Alright, let's get our stuff repaired first. Yes. 
<laughs> Alright. Um, jeez, the, the, all this stuff needs to be fixed. Like, the formal cloak is in terrible condition. Mm -hmm. You assume conjuration also screws with it? Yes. Absolutely. Lol. It's uh, pretty funny. Okay, physical guide to improvement. We got we got to go get our specific uh, books. Yeah, we're going with uh, polite society, lock picking, and we're gonna use both of those books uh, after we finish. Armor hammer is important. Yeah, we need to repair all our stuff. So Daedric boots first. Good. Uh, I like how I'm just doing smithing inside this guy's house. No problem. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Daedric gear is essentially cursed. It's just that protagonist privilege. Yeah, Orcish staff, we need that repaired before we do anything else. We're using the epoxy glue to fix up that stuff. Come of arcane knowledge needs to be fixed. We're going to be wasting all our epoxies on uh, this fun stuff. You're too exhausted to do that. Fair enough. The game's like, hey, you need to go take a nap. I'm like, okay. Fine. We're going to cast Stamina so we can do more uh, Stamina. Yes. Tundra Gear definitely sucks in Oblivion. Yes. Uh, hello there. Uh, full of a half-sibling got in a bar fight. Now I need to maintain family honor. Um, got it. Um, go to the dancing sword and help with the fight. Fine. Okay. Hey, Luna. Um, thanks for going with me. Um, okay. So this lady here needs uh, me to help her uh, get into a fight. It's a quick side quest. Mm-hmm. Uh, save it under, uh, number two. Here we go. Hydrate Conjured Gear in Marwind. It's overpowered for the early game. Um, it's okay in the mid game, and it's kind of bad in the late game. There's no real scaling with it, so, you know. We're going to the other tavern. It, this lady wants us to go over the other tavern and start a fight. I have agreed. Gonna help those peasants out. Right on my wagon, lady. To the dancing sword we go. This way. As soon as you enter the tavern, two figures stand up, start shouting at you. Uh, the fight is inevitable at this point. You are dripping wet. As it as it is, monks, monks, I'm fighting monks. Damn, the guards helping me. Yeah, the guards helping me fight the monks. That monk is dead. Oh, jeez, look at this guy. You hear villagers panic in the distance. I'm taking the monk's stuff. Yep. Oh, nice. That monk had a formal brazier. That just another copy of the one I've got already. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Gods. Okay, let's get going. Uh, we, we should be done, yes? Pr pretty sure we're done. Is there anything else? Oh, that's it. Cool. We just got paid. Yeah. That's it. She, she, she thanked me and I got paid. Yep. I don't know. The little boy saw everything. Yes, it's true. I don't know why the monk had a formal brassiere. It was very funny. I keep finding more fields. Where's the wagons? Right here. 
Yes. That's it, though. We we got a, a room for the night, and then uh, ended up turning into a fight. At a different tavern. That's so funny. Harvesting skill at 11. We're doing it. Mm-hmm. Root bulbs. Very good. Pull that away. That away. I think that's it. Yep. We got our extra formal brassiere now from the night. Or sorry, the um not the knight, the um monk. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Haven't used conjured gear in Daggerfall. I can. I mean, it's literally a spell called uh, Knickknack. It's a conjuration spell. You you con you create item. Creates a useful item. Lasts one round. Sorry, lasts four rounds. Plus run round for every two levels of the caster. It doesn't last incredibly long, so I'm not entirely sure. Let's go back into the Devil's Sword. We have a room here, yes. Let's get that book studied. Learn me a book. Tom, Tom of Arcane Knowledge. And... Polite... Sus actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. I meant to choose the other one. The locksmithing. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. Pretty sure they go away, but let's uh, rest until fully healed. Lock picking and alteration. Good. What time is it? It's still late at night. You've slept poorly. Oh, really? Let's go ahead and cast Knickknack. And then I want to make a, um, I'll make some arrows, conjured arrows. No, I don't need conjured arrows, but maybe magic robes. Let's have a look. Look at that. Plain robes. Incredible. They've been conjured. I shall wear them. Look, see, magical conjured robes. Let's cast another knick-knack. Give me a staff. Um, steel staff, yes. And now, I have a magically conjured stick. Yes. Very good, very good. Now that we did all that, we're going to read some more books. Specifically, the uh, Guide to Physical Improvement and the Polite Society. Yes. And then we rest. Mm, going to cast a bit more. You notice that my uh, items went away now. The robe and everything. Put the uh, brassiere back on. Thank you. Yes. As it should be, now and forever. Yep. That's right. Light. Remember the light. Okay. We rest until morning. It's late now. We have illusion, thaumaturgy, etiquette, swimming. All kinds of special things we've gained. Yes. After we rested, everything disappeared. The staff and the robes both went away. Hello there. Give me leftovers. Thank you. Okay, we're going to... I don't 
think we need to go anywhere else. Let's check the the uh, the, the cold air numbs your skin. It's not that cold. Looks like this market hasn't refreshed itself at all. What a shame. I need this in my landmark journal. No, it's fine. We're going back to the Devil's Sword. For a uh, quick... Uh, we, need to, we need to finish training everything. Or, or repairing everything, I should say. I... Uh, want, yeah, I still have epoxy. That's fine. Orcish staff, get that fixed. Uh, let's see. Good manners and polite society. Yeah, so it looks like we can fix that stuff up. That's fine. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. If your stuff breaks in a dungeon, yeah, you can use knick-knack. All right, we need to use armor or hammers now to repair our, uh, everything, really. Start with the gauntlets. Adamantium curus. Okay, we're going to take a moment. Oh, we're, we're not... Uh, I, I thought for a second that we'd uh, run out of that. We're, we're repairing our stuff. Good. Orcish Graves. Okay, we got to go get another armor hammer from inside the wagon. Pretty sure the wagon has another hammer somewhere. Maybe. If it doesn't, so be it. We're uh, sorting through the wagon here. Hmm. Ah, yes. Top quality loincloth. See, what you do is you wear this and you wear that plus the Daedric gear. And then it all kind of fits. The ideal aesthetic uh, uh, that, that I... Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that my degenerate mind enjoys is the, uh, you know, the, the, the bulky, you know, sh shoulders, arms, legs, uh, so on. And then just, uh, completely exposed core because it's really fucking dumb. I, I enjoy that, uh, that stupid look way too much. Okay. Let's see. Anyway, repair. We were need to finish repairing all the armor and everything. Yep. You're too exhausted. No, I'm not. That's a dirty lie. We can go ahead and, um... Uh, what do you call it? We can use stamina. Magic. You can keep repairing now. Yes. Is it that one? Oh, yeah, that one. We're getting the, uh, mithril pauldrons fixed. Okay, nothing needs repair right now, so it's just clothing now. Yes. We're sewing up our everything. Formal cloak. You bet. Shoes. Everything else should be nicely repaired, yes. You like how her face is more pale than the rest of her? Yes. Almost like she was wearing a hood and then, you know, had suntan or something. I don't know. Very weird. Uh, let me see. Hmm. I'm debating if there's anything else we need to do here. Suppose if we had, like, a bag of magic powder, we could recharge some of our magical items, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. I just need to see about maybe jeweler's pliers. Don't know if those are important. It's gonna be kind of nuts either way. As I go and repair everything. I mean, all her gear should be good to go right now. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, all very uncertain, so. Let's see here. Where are we going? Mm-hmm. Don't know. There's the jeweler pliers. We don't need the whetstone. But we should put away the rest of the stuff, I think. Oh, we got 200 bandages in our uh, wagon. I guess 44 on us is fine, but um, guttural sounds of the pig children. Is there anything else I need that I may have missed? I think the answer is a firm no, but uh, I mean, there's the field alchemy kit if we need to do alchemy ourselves. Let's see. Going up this list. 
I don't see anything else I need to be concerned with at the moment, so uh, put those on, and uh, that that'll just about do it. Um, yeah, exactly. Winning son. That's the uh, the the big meme. The okay. I think we're good. Let's uh, use the field alchemy kit really quick. Uh, recipes, cure disease. So we can make cure disease potions ourselves. What else? Levitation, resist fire, resist poison, slow falling and water breathing. Well, uh, cure disease should be good enough. Let's try making one of those and see what happens. Uh, yes, I should have the ingredients. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, use, the it shouldn't cost me anything because I'm doing it myself. Is the wife an Elder Scrolls fan? No. She, uh... Oh, she prefers, like, uh... What do you call it? Uh, Nintendo games and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, Point-and-click adventure games as well. That's that's why I was pointing out, like, the Top Hats one. The Born Punk. The Cyberpunk point-and-click adventure game. Because that one's got damn good. Um, but no. Uh, like, Final Fantasy XIV is the game we typically play together. That or Mario Kart. We've been playing Mario Kart together since we were uh, uh, younger. Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Mix. The potion has been mixed. It's a shame we don't have the ingredients required for anything else. Which cyberpunk adventure game? Yeah, Born Punk. It's pretty good. Let me pull it up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's do this one here. Anyway, moving along. There's the link. I'm getting out of here. We made a cure disease potion, which is nice, I guess, considering we have to use those up every once in a while. Is there anything else we can do? I think we'll just read a book. Read the Tome of Arcane. Knowledge. Yeah, I study that. Study... Hold on, let's double check the locksmithing. Um, we, we don't need to do any more locksmithing. Let's see... B -b 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 yeah, we, we definitely don't need to do any more locksmithing. Let's double check a few, uh, see if there's any other books we have. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, then. No idea what you're talking about. Vernacular of the lower classes. The uncouth combat primer should be good. Yeah. Yeah. Hand-to-hand, -hand, uh, backstabbing, yep, stuff like that. Okay. Let's rest for a mo- oh, god damn it. Excuse me, sir. Room, uh, yeah, another room. And just rest for a moment. Mm-hmm. Good. What time is it now? It's 8 a.m. So we basically wasted a whole day uh fixing up our stuff but that's good it's morning we may have slept poorly but we get to eat leftovers from the day before and then drink some spruce tea that's fine uh clearance sale temple of kenrith has no further need for these goods there's a talisman looks in good shape price is 150 gold sure i'll buy it yep that's worth 120. Fuck. Oh, well. I got gypped. I, uh... I wasted, uh... Money on something worse. What a shame. Oh, well. Let's put our stuff away here. Since we got way too much uh, of everything. What else? I did not mean to use that potion. Oh, well. Seeking. Not seeking anything. I'm seeking the house of Debella. We're all dressed up in the per the ideal outfit for uh, going to the house of Debella. No problem. We'll we'll go back to the sorceress outfit when we're ready to adventure. 
We gotta throw on the, uh, yeah. Nothing. TCL. There we go. Oh, well. Ahem. We're gonna get a quest from her. Uh, Questo de, uh, Deb. Ooh, my goodness. That was a sneeze. Deb Eller. Yes. Go, go, go. First things first, we're going to drop off of TCL. Then we're going to cast Recall. Set an anchor here. And then we'll travel. We need to get a quest. One of the more important functions of the House of Debella is the preservation of great works of great arc. We have uh, scouts all over Tamriel who look for rare and beautiful pieces. Are you ready to retrieve such a masterpiece? Let's go. All right. Procurer of works. Funny little lady named Evelusa Hearthheart. Um... She has found a rare and wonderful piece. She affair we fear his bandits will rob her. You must go to the Red Guard in Kirkcart Wood. You have twenty days. Go now. Yes. We're Hearth Smith. We gotta go meet with Miss Hearth Hart. It's uh A okay. We have to have TCL through here though. What a shame. They, they give us 20 days. That means that it's going to be a big... Um, Kirk cart is over there. So if we were to travel manually, it would take us 40 hours, which we're going to do because we're crazy. We're not going directly there. We're going in other directions. But uh, the more important thing is we're ready to go. AI art made by Daedra. You mean the uh, the brush of true paint? From the... Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. It's not tedious travel. It's called uh, travel options, oddly enough. It's a much better thing. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Let me see here. G give me a sec. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm I'm pulling up a uh, a fan art meme, everybody. <clears throat> the myth of artistic uh, uh, freedom. I want to draw it. I want to see it. And then uh, Visa and Mastercard say, "I don't." That's right. The myth of artistic freedom. You want to commission something? Too, too bad. Visa and MasterCard don't want to see it. There you go. <clears throat> now then. What else? Send a money order? Yeah, but money orders don't have any legal protections regarding... Um, well, uh, as far as, uh, like, debit cards and such do. Like, cre credit and debit uh, have uh, have ways to protect yourself. Whereas a money order, it's like, when, once you give a money order to a particular person, that's, that one, once they cash it, that's basically it. It's like uh, cashier check light. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go east now. Visa, but Visa's right here. We we we, we saw the we, we saw the Visa symbol right down here. See? <laughs> yes. Most of economics relies on the order. <laughs> Sorry, the the honor system. Yes. I'm just saying that with a credit or debit card, there are ways you can get a um, a chargeback, and uh, like your financial institution can perform a chargeback on your behalf. So, uh, <clears throat> what's written at the bottom? 
what do you mean? Isn't there some random payment processor you forgot to ask? Yes. All right. Animal tracks? Nope. I'm not doing that. We're traveling. We're going to protect the arts. Okay. And by protect the arts, I mean we're going to pick a bunch of flowers. You don't understand why Visa would even care? I know, right? But they do. All right, let's go. Homeless. Homeless. Probably. All right. We, uh... What's the real estate market looking like in the Iliac Bay? 900,000 gold? Ahem. <clears throat> Something like that? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Almost done. A million gold. Yes. There are houses for... Oh, we our harvesting skill increased to... Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, 12%. We're getting there. We're slowly harvesting. Did you pay them? Yes, we, we paid them in honor. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Think that's about it. exposure you say I mean to be fair uh, with our outfits we got plenty of exposure definitely uh, let's see speaking of let's go back to the uh, purple yeah there we go and uh, uh, what else yeah we're going over here where is the purple cape that's the uh, heavy purple cape. I just need a light purple. There's light purple cape. Good. <clears throat> yes. This way. Uh, Questo to Debeller. We're going east. The wagon wheel creaks, as it always does. Mm -hmm. This is working out very well. <clears throat> oh, we've arrived in the Laughing Fairy. I see. Crushing bugs. Yeah, we can just keep going. We don't have to stop. I suppose we'll have some tea really quick on our way through. It's like five minute uh, quick uh, trip. Actually, let's let's have some. No, oh, no, I forgot to. What do you mean you didn't charge your headset? Fine, really, it's fine. Uh, what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna have some haycock pie. Oh boy. Um. There you go. And then uh, a mint tea. Yes. I'm good at that. 
We travel this so far now. <clears throat> Let me see, what was I gonna do? I was gonna hit that button, then we're gonna switch to that. I think it was, whoops, past it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. This small town needs you to support their economy. It's funny, there are like three houses and uh, a, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, how, how many houses? One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. So what, like uh, eight or nine houses and uh, a uh, an inn or two? Jace. <clears throat> You've successfully avoided an encounter. Hooray. Keep saving. Keep going. No stopping here. You cannot travel with enemies nearby. Oh, no. This bear is coming. The bear is coming. We must be prepared. Be prepared. What? Kill it. Good. Come on. It did. All your meat are belong to me. Okay. Onwards and sideways. We avoided an encounter. Hooray. It's only been five hours and 15 minutes. You're acting like my 10, 12 hour streams don't happen. Okay. Yeah, bear meat is very tough. Okay. Onwards. Better than putrid meat. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Where are all the billboards? Aw, oh, crap! Cluster of spiders. S sp 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 spiders. Trying to paralyze me. Okay, one blood spider done. Two blood spiders done. Is that it? Just two blood spiders? Okay. They have venom. Am I cursed? No. There's a sword floating in the air. Why is there a large sword floating in the air? I will take it. It was a silver die katana. There's also a club on the ground. Steel mace. Iron broadsword. Anything else? <clears throat> okay. There's an axe floating in the air as well. Yep. Iron battle axe. An adamantium staff? It's worse than my orcish staff. But it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Just an adamantium staff just sitting there. I have no idea. We have these sticks. No, no sticks for me. It's, oh, another sword. Silver Wakazashi. Sword over here. Dwarven dagger. And an elven staff. Ah. Oh. Yeah, suddenly an adamantium stick. Oh no. Whatever that is, it was too heavy. It was a steel cuirass. That is incredible. I need to equip my orcish staff again. And then put everything else away. Crazy. Hmm. <clears throat> By the way, look at this cuirass. It's got like the little frills there, as if it was uh, a, a dress. What you can do is you can actually get a full gown, and the gown kind of spills out from underneath. It looks really nice. Uh, but no, we're going to use this adamantium cuirass. Yep. 
Okay. Does Daggerfall have Cutlass? I don't think so. Might be possible. No idea. Put the books away for the moment. And we're ready to go. Questo de Beller. To the east. Always to the east. Okay. We've arrived at a junction. We go this way, it takes us to a town. Go that way, it takes us way south. We gotta go to the east. Continuing. Mm hmm. Right, right. Almost there. Bear meat tends to be rather tough. You'd have to do a lot to tenderize it. Okay. Varies from person to person. Okay. Good, good. Bit by bit, we're going to get our harvesting skill up. Where'd our crops go? They grow up over, like, a couple days. It's crazy. Like, you come back, and then it's suddenly all crops again. Yep. Okay. We're almost there. Mm-hmm. Bear meat tends to ca uh, carry parasites. Well, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to cook the hell out of uh, what you eat. And you're going to have to kill the uh, whatever's uh, inside of it. Mm -hmm. You asked, uh, uh, do you always get snow in uh, northern regions? Yes, during... Uh, during later oh, harvesting skill of 13 very good yep 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 <laughs> have to carry a whole extra dimension <laughs> uh two, yeah 3d cart being pulled by a 2d horse you have to you have to lug a whole extra dimension around <laughs> that's uh pretty severe yeah Okay. Uh, jeez. Yes, the mystery sausage uh, at the the next the next inn. Some of the inns in High Rock will uh, you can absolutely buy mystery sausage as your meal. Elder Scrolls equivalent the Thracian Plague. Everyone hates slowed because the slowed's um kind of eliminated like two thirds of Tamriel's population with a plague. We must continue east. Yep, slug toads. Slodes. True. Yeah, I'd love to visit Thross. Absolutely. Huh. Let's go up and over that way. Mm -hmm. Oh no, orcs! Orcs, orcs, orcs!
Come on. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> there's a, a restaurant called the Cracker Barrel, and they have a they have a gift shop that you go through on your way into the uh, the actual like sit down restaurant part. Yeah, uh, that's where we got it. Not saying every Cracker Barrel will have one. I'm just saying that that particular Cracker Barrel did. Okay. I cannot help you other than what I just said. Okay. What do we get? Yes, they got random stuff. That's exactly it. Precisely. I've visited a pro bash shop once. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, one of my favorite foods at the Cracker Barrel are these. Uh, these, uh, what do you call it, uh, cream cheese stuffed pancakes. They are absolutely delicious and are terrible for you. Do not buy them because they are terrible for you, but they are delicious. Can't say I go often. All right. That should do it. Yes, terrible things taste the best. Ah, the dancing ogre. And that one is the queen's skull. That isn't... No. That can't be an inn. That's what I thought. It isn't. That wasn't an inn. Like the Cheesecake uh, Factory? No. Okay. You wonder why Marwin ditched the climb skill? I don't know. I suppose because a lot of the environments were a little more three-dimensional, a little less flat. Climbing skill only works on flat surfaces. So, you know. <clears throat> Right. Yes, we uh we actually got the orcish staff, which is this one. And then we recently got an adamantium staff, which is technically worse, but it looks fancy. If nothing else. Okay. Moving along. Oxway. We've arrived at the city of Oxway. We haven't been to cities a whole lot. We've been spending most of our time in towns and villages. Let's see, what's this? Oxway. There are no decrees. Usually there'd be a decree underneath the uh, uh, the title there, where they say, "Oh, you've been up to no good, haven't you?" It's like, no. What are you talking about? The Fighters Guild should be open right now. We're gonna go pay a visit to see if we can rank up just by virtue of existing. There are a lot of horses around here. Did you know that you can break into the city walls? That there's stuff in there? There are people who will say there's nothing in there, but those people didn't have mods. 
Yep. Here we go. Do do. I'm gonna save it under three. Talk to this guy, see if he promotes me. No, no promotion. I'd have to do another quest for him to get a promotion. What a shame. Is what it is. Let's go check out the different, uh, different areas around here. Mm -hmm. The Thirsty Goat. Alright. Well, it's looking like it's dinner time. So, I'm going to be taken off. I might be back later with other things, but those will be stupid, weird things. Uh, do expect a Baldur's Gate stream tomorrow evening. I don't know how long it'll be, but uh, that's the plan. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right around here. And uh, we will continue. Oh, boy, the wagon's like inside the wall. That's funny. I was going to say, I'll uh, I'll be back soon, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to take off, have dinner, hang out with the wife for a bit, do other things. So, bye, everybody.